Good evening, everybody. Hello. The Madness, how are you today? The Gaming Raptor plays. What's up? Great to see you. Sorry I took a little bit longer tonight. You know what? Hey, we got, we got a variable window whenever we start streaming. I, uh, I just got to recording a couple of TikToks. Fucking addictive, man. I just... I don't know. That's cool. It's interesting also that... Um, the word uh, TikTok has become synonymous with... The output rather than the product. Right? It's like talking about uh, a, a brand name as the item Kleenex Hoover, right? It's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He he made a he made a couple of TikToks a day ago or, or whatever. Like, um, we're very TikTok positive family here. I know some people don't like it. I know some people still, for some reason, associate it with musically and and you know, uh, silly viral dances and and lip syncing and bad acting and I mean that still exists that's still on the platform but it's so much more than that so much more than that you're here from TikTok Raptor that's cool man that is cool yo monster thank you very much for the uh resub there two months in the bank very kind and I've said this before sub to a channel always welcome it, it's the it's it's amazing support but a prime sub a a recurring prime sub aka that person comes back to the channel and says you know what i like this person enough to to come back and re-support the channel with my with my free sub and that that shit means a lot like the intention there carries huge weight in my opinion one TikTok I did with the TOS was really well handled. Um, yeah, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. We had a we had a. Uh, I don't know if someone wants to link it. If that's even a thing, can you link? Is there is there like a URL to go? I think there is. Yeah, of course there is. Um, we had a kid come in a couple of days ago, and he's like, "Hey, I sub to my channel or whatever, right? Like new streamer." bad etiquette all around but i'm not going to i'm not going to shit on the guy i'm not going to go you know what um just ban him straight away a lot of streamers would and and i wouldn't blame him from that you know for that but i believe in second chances and i believe that especially when you're starting out a lot of that that knowledge that behavior is uh it's learned right it's not just expected um, I mean, it sucks that it happens, and in the moment, you can see it as, right, this guy's just trying to mooch off me, or... I don't even believe that's a thing. I guarantee you nobody went to that person's channel and, and followed or whatever, right? Um, and, and even if you did, if, if you did that, I'm fucking up. I'm doing something really bad, right? That just means that my content is so bad that a random person that comes into the channel um, sees another link, they go check him out, and you know what? This this kid is... Uh... <laughs> so that's why I wanted to have a conversation with him. Like, And, and I do this with as many people as I can. Um, we were, I was talking to Ms. Queeb last night. We had, we had someone... During the subathon, that was uh, early this year. They um, they were talking ill of snakes. They said, "Ooh, snakes are gross. I would I would never own a snake. How can you hold a snake? Well, whatever." And we're like, "Whoa, you're you're you've already crossed the line here. I'm, I'm fair warning." Um, I remember it very differently from Miss Quee, but Miss Quee, my wife, remembers it like it was yesterday. This, this dude had, uh, 
two or three warnings. And she's like, you know what? Fuck that. You are so done. You hate on snakes in this channel? Fine. That's, that's no problem. There's a genuine fear of snakes and I understand why I had that fear. Um, but yeah, Miss Queeb says something that that's kind of important to me and, and to the channel as a whole, I think. And, and I think most people get it. Um, he will never be coming back. <laughs> hey, Sarah, welcome back. How are you doing? Anime Daddy, I haven't uh, ignored... I'm not ignoring you. I did see you. Thank you so much for coming in. I love having you here, dude. Uh, Anime Daddy is a very good friend of mine. Um, he's actually the person that convinced me to run ads. So blame him. No, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. If we can disable pre-rolls even for a little bit... Um, we're not... We're not scaring away new people. I control the ads, so you're not going to miss any content. It's going to be fine. We'll find it. We'll find it a really good middle ground. And from what I've heard last couple of days, um, the volume is good. Uh, it, it's not too intrusive at all. Um, you're at a bar bothering your friends. So the, here's here's Anime Daddy in a nutshell. Okay, he's so addicted to Twitch and to 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 his friends that are on Twitch, that he'll be out with real life friends at a bar, hanging out, having fun. Fun, obviously not. Um, he'd rather come on Twitch, which is which is cool. That's that's fine too. Uh, love you, dude. Uh, Anime Daddy graced me with his presence during his world worldwide, America wide uh, tour. Stopped in Los Angeles and we we hung out for a bit. Can't, uh, it, it, I mean, it did get pretty crazy. It did. We uh, we went off the chain a little bit there. We went to um, uh, we went to Denny's. Uh, so one, I left the house. Two, we went to Denny's. And uh, and also uh, uh, we had pizza. Yeah. No, very low key affair. We we spent a little bit of time. You know, just working on content and and quietly editing. You, you ever you ever have a, have a relationship where you're really comfortable with each other, and that person or or people are in the same room working on their own thing, and you're working on your own thing, and there's no animosity. There's no awkward silence. There's no un uncomfortable and uncom you're not uncomfortable uh you just you're just comfortable and, and and it's like it's it's like you you know the other person's there and there's that connection even though you're not actively talking doing something to get i that shit i i love that i have that with my wife we we have a bond that transcends the need to to have that you know immediate connection just knowing she's there shit knowing she's in the house i feel a hundred times better and anime daddy was like that with you dude but toto what's up we're, we're getting there dude we're getting there i don't know if you were here last night but toto so for those in in the know i mean look at the title we're 98 percent complete of unlocking everything in Binding of Isaac. We have 12 unlocks to go. The hardest unlocks in the game, most likely. Uh, and the the very hardest, in my opinion, so far at least, is, is unlocking um, Tainted Lazarus in greedier mode this is ridiculous you need the perfect and I, and I stress that again the perfect set of circumstances to uh to achieve this anyway the alternative to getting perfect luck is making your own luck by breaking the game aka you find the right tools again maybe a bit of luck involved but you you find the right tools and then patiently take advantage of that to uh 
rip the guts right out of it. You just, you, you take control. Um, unfortunately, the game crashed last night. Tonight, we will be periodically uh, saving and quitting, just so we don't run into that again. I would probably cry. Problem is, I have to go through another 12 waves of fights to make this happen. And that's, uh, that's ridiculously difficult. Anime Daddy, you're always welcome here. I mean that. You need anything, you, you hit me up. I, I consider you a, a good personal friend. And again, going back, that's that's because of TikTok. Um, anyway, sorry, I sidetracked way, way, way big time there. A kid, a couple of days ago, um, he kept going on, oh, it's my birthday, you guys should subscribe to me. Um, I get anything I want on my birthday, shit like that. And that's when we had, that's when I had the discussion with him. And then he said, oh yeah, by the way, I just turned 11. And if you're unaware, you have to be 13 to be a user on Twitch. Um, so I was like, dude, that's, I'm sorry. That's the magic word. I had to ban him. And then the following day, I reported his account as well um, and just said that uh, I advised that, you know, a user, user advised that uh, he was 11 years old. Never say your age on Twitch if you're underage. Don't use the platform if you're underage. Um, but no, that's why I'm late. TikTok. Well, TikTok and rambling. This is fun, though. I like talking to you guys. Uh, Gaming Raptor Plays. It is wonderful to have you here, and I appreciate the compliments. Um, I play indie games and roguelikes, specifically. Um, roguelikes are games that are randomly generated. They have uh, usually permadeath aka you reach the end of a run when you die and there's no sort of continues or you you know you don't keep going there's variations on the subgenre but yeah in general that's permadeath and and random level generation are the two things the game that you're about to see the binding of isaac repentance is um i would say i would say it's the granddaddy of of modern roguelikes it it has it's the pinnacle of of what is possible i think and it's it's funnily enough the game is about 10 years old this version is seven years old there's been updates and dlcs and everything since then but yeah 2014 i think uh afterbirth came out ah uh, sorry is it afterbirth I get them confused. Anyway. The great thing about this specific game, and it's it's something that a lot of games try to emulate, is uh, item synergies. Okay, so there's, a, there's well over a thousand items in the game now. And a lot of those items work uh, well together, right? They, they pair up and uh they create a stronger build uh rebirth thank you shale the binding of isaac rebirth was the the new version makes sense rebirth never played indie games you always play multiplayer like for honor or warframe that's that's fair i mean that's funnily enough most of the friends that i made on tiktok don't play the games that i like they play, um, you know, shooters and uh, uh, Apex and, and, and Smash, you know. But that's not, I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a big shooter guy. Getting old, my hands move, my hands move a bit slow these days. Definitely look into, into games, I, I can't sing their praises enough. 
Hey, Camilla, great to see you as well. Oh, wow, the whole fam's here. This is great. All right, let me let me show you a little bit of the game. Actually, I'm, I'm not going to be able to show you a, a general run because we're in the middle of one right now. I had to had to stop. I was we went for 12 hours and yesterday and I'm I had enough. Okay, so we're going to continue the run. Content warning, by the way, um, this game does show uh, a lot of a lot of dark stuff. Let's keep that in mind. Hey, Lenny, good to see you as well. Ah, that's right. Leo, you know what? I'm not going to take that. I think I took this. I can't remember. I don't know how much health the other guy has. I can't remember the order in which we did things. Let's see. Let's see what's up. All right, we're flipping anyway, apparently. All right, good. I think that's exactly what happened yesterday. Twenty cents. I'm going to blow these two up. I'm fairly certain there's nothing in them. Yep. Um, and tonight, the order in which I buy things is going to change. I'm going to go for this first, and I think we start with that. Right, so it's just surviving. Problem is, the um, the waves upcoming are really, really tough. And I think I have to stop the game earlier. You gonna you gonna stop past LA on the way back, dude? We'll just hijack your plans to get a shirt. Alright, let's not get that. Let's pick that up. Anyway, a lot of the inspiration from this uh, comes from The Legend of Zelda. Probably not surprising based on the look of it. Uh, but it goes well and truly beyond. A lot of body horror. A lot of gross stuff. Deals with poop and pee and vomit. and y Yeah, you name it. Um, And this character's gimmick is that after every wave, or at the beginning of every wave, he switches to an alternate version of himself, like what just happened before. I do recall Angry Fly being clutch in this. We have five cents. I could use D1 once, maybe. Could do that, actually. Get an extra coin. Yeah, I'm going to be a little... Well, hang on a sec. Once we use it, that's six room charge, 12 waves. Okay, no, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. All right, so it's just this first part that I really need to focus on. Let's go. Let's see how we go. I wonder if the waves are going to be the same. Probably, huh? Oh, 
Uh, does it matter if I step on the button? I think somebody confirmed that that is not the case. Right, this will do. Don't pick up any of the coins. Just stay safe. That's what we got to do. When I said this is the hardest challenge in the game, I was not being uh, hyperbolic in any way. And the game's already hard. Angry fly doing work, which is dope. What did I spend the extra five cents on yesterday? I recall... Needing to take five after a reroll. Now we already have five. Oh, it was to have ten cents, maybe. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't expect the outcome to go um, like exactly the same as before, by the way. Because the number of coins will change. the Meaning the rerolls will change. Like the whole formula from here on out is, is different. I think it's already different, you know. It's like... The, the butterfly effect, right? You, you alter one thing in the past and... I don't know. World War Three and, and whatever. Been watching you play Isaac for a while still confuses the hell out of you I'm old but you have a great presence great choice of games very relaxing to watch right on monster is the number 68 uh, indicative of your age either way you're more than welcome here I'm 41 myself and uh, I feel not a day over 40 so yeah no we uh, we embrace age in this channel You're 154, Grey Macchiato. Okay. No wonder the Macchiato has turned grey. It's been a while. Father of two girls. Help! <laughs> I like your name, by the way. Year of birth. Right on. Right on. Um... Father of two, two girls, happy birthday. Uh, that is dope. Congrats. Potato, I'm 11. Shut up. <laughs> you, you're not helping. <laughs> okay. What wave are we on? Six. Oh boy, here we go. That's a, actually a really tough wave too. Two hearts left, that's a problem. Let's stand on that button. Use this guy to finish him off. That's right, I remember this wave. I do not want to have to ban anyone because of their age, especially not a mod. <laughs> How embarrassing. Question, if I save and quit, it, well, for anyone that, oh, if I save and quit now, does that,
does that keep the game yeah it should right keeps the game intact here uh health up health up there is one in the store there you are It's a sketch, bro. I think the boss waves were reasonable at the very least. So what if we were able to clear regular floor, we should be okay. Right, there's 11 coins on the ground. Great. Please, please, please. Cool, not bad. I mean, oh no. The amount of damage I'm doing to him is worrying with this character. I think our, our characters were flipped yesterday at this point. Yep, now I remember. Still requires some top tier play from your boy McQueeb. those coins bro did I just hear a dime hit the ground holy shit that's kind of huge okay does anyone remember the final boss phase yesterday all right don't touch the button this time. Or at least if you do, wait until... Bumbo? No way. Oh shit, it was too. Don't touch the... Don't touch the button. Don't touch the button. Alright, we flipping? Yeah, we're flipping. Let me see if there's a boss fight in... Uh, sorry, a, uh, another fight room in here. If there's not... Bummer. Alright, so we're going to take... going to take that. We're going to flip. One and a half hearts. We're doing... This, this is actually a much better setup than yesterday. I'm feeling actually a lot more confident. Just do not touch that red button in the middle of the ground. We touch it early, r run over. Okay. Now we start again. So the trick here is to get as much... Drops all of your hearts and pickups on the floor. Only half a heart left afterwards. Pickups can spawn... Again, I'm having difficulty seeing that. Coin and bomb collectibles? If sufficient amount is dropped. Or is it a key? Might be a key. No, don't don't play with that. Plus I've only got one health anyway. Um by getting more stuff on the ground, we have a greater chance of re-rolling into something really good. Oops, I didn't mean to pick up the bomb. Do we have a battery? Oh shoot, I have to roll for the battery as well? That's right. Yep, I remember this. And then one more. Where's the battery? <sighs> I 
completely forgot the battery. Thank you, Jesus Almighty, and uh, welcome, Knuff. It, I, these, these rolls look familiar, so... That's it. Okay. And if we pick up this a couple of times over here, um, there'll be a D20 there so we can switch between the characters. We're, we're good. Everything's fine. Maybe. I still need five more cents to pick up, which, uh, which we do have on the floor. Everything's fine. Twitch chat, you were worried for a second then. Yep, these are playing out exactly the same. So interesting. Let's work this out. If I use the sun card, that's minus one item. If I use the fool, that's minus another item. We drop three and a half hearts we drop two bombs I need to see this full card in question in action reverse full card Isaac See if there's an explanation here. No, oh, it doesn't look like there is. I don't care about the Steam achievements, dude. Oh, that's the original game. Hilarious. Playing cards. Not playing cards. Tarot cards we want. Reversed Major Arcana cards. These cards share the same names as their counterparts. And give different effects when on the ground these cards look like this. Hierophant, the fool. Invisible soda? Oh, it's, uh, here, let me show you. Squirt. Okay. Drops all hearts and pickups on the floor, leaving Isaac at half a heart. Will kill Isaac if he only has soul hearts. And all empty red heart containers. Pickups may be spawned as coins, such as a quarter and boom. And I think you have to have a threshold there, which we do not. Katza, hello. Great to see you. I, I'm going to try this. I may regret it. And we activate the sun afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's even better. A nickel drops. Okay, good start. It's 
sun card, full health. And a nickel. We have four other coins on the floor. Do we do we risk a reroll on the four coins? What do we do we pick them up? So at the moment I have five cents, meaning I can charge my item once. You'd risk it, leave them on the ground. Risk it. All right. All right, we've got a chest. We've got another nickel and a charge key. Holy mackerel. Okay, this is amazing. Three items out of that. Three items out of that. Do not touch that button, Queeb. I swear, if you, if you even think about it, that was really good. Buy a lot of tickets tomorrow. There's another nickel right there. I'm not going to open red chests, by the way. Time and time again yesterday, every single red chest had flies, uh, spiders. Temperance, blood donation machine. I kind of want that. It's kind of in a really bad place right now. Fuck off. Get it. Get all the shit I can. No, 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 no. Too goddamn risky. I'm such an idiot. I cry. I cry big time now. Oh no. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. If I... It's probably too late. Oh man, what happened to my game? That's so weird. Fuck! Oh! It had to be that... It had to be that boss. Yesterday, we had a lot more stuff on the ground. You think it won't work? Yeah, I think you're right. Ha! <laughs> All right, let's go again. Um, if that's the case, let's do uh, let's do a regular run then. We've still got to do uh, delirium, so. I guess I'll update my title. That's that's pretty crushing. Pretty crushing. I I didn't even think I was close. It's alright. You know what? We've learned to roll with the punches on this channel. It's what we do. XPL, what's up, dude? Twice. I don't want Magneto. Sometimes when the game crashes, your save file gets copied to another folder. It's it's all good, dude. I'm I'm fine with it. Seriously, I'm okay. Um, 
the crash yesterday was probably the worst that we've seen and uh yeah what are you gonna do Do we have two movable? Is that movable? I think it might be. Okay, cool. Let's put you over here. And let's put you down here. You know what? Um, there is a little bit of a reward for you folks being so patient with me playing Tainted Laz. And that's that uh, I do have Inscription, new game from Devolver Digital, uh, Clara was kind enough to send me a key so we have that it's ready to go it's on it's on deck so to speak it is a, a like a deck builder but it looks like the card building aspect is less of a major component so i might be all right with it Hierophant card, huh? That's kind of important. I do love... Uh, what's this guy's name? Demon Baby? Yeah, he's pretty dope. I told you. Pressing the button would be run over. Lucky, We got lucky yesterday. I didn't realize once he's taken enough... Um, uh, taking enough items, or sorry, taking enough coins off the ground that he, uh, he stops, he disappears and drops, drops another item. Had to be that boss though. I kind of want to get in there just because we have the, uh, petrified poop. Uh, and that petrified poop should get us a little bit of payout. Macchiato. I'll yeah. There's it's no secret that I'm not a fan of uh, deck builders, but I was watching a few streamers today. Um, go figure. It's something I do in my spare time. And um, they were singing praises about this game. One creator, Esty, you, you probably know him. If you know, if you know this channel, you know him. Um, he said, "Game of the Year." I was just like, "Wow." Okay, we got two bombs. It's a great emote. It is. That it is. So here's the question. Use a bomb here. Pick up a key. Use a bomb here. Shoot all the poop. Right? Get, um... Get the chest as well. Chest is... It could be good. It might be shit too, but... We want to go in there. Dude. Hot Wheels Unleashed, I've, I've been looking at as well. Wow. Okay. This is quite the floor. Yeah, that looks really fun. Are all of the cars, um... Purchasable? 
Or do you unlock them through gameplay? But Penny gives you more pennies from poop. Really? But other stuff can drop with petrified poop, right? Well, I tell you what. I tell you what. Let's do that. Alright. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Here's, here's what we're going to do. If I can find my way around. I'm going to do the thing. Oh, no. No, no, no. Never mind. It's already, it's already well and truly paid for itself. I was going to pick up Butt Penny and then, uh, use that to, to pick them up, but yeah, no, this is fine. Far out. That was certainly the right choice. Wow. a lucky run and this is only going to delirium so we can go either way um yeah we can go any number of ways here Let's see what's downstairs black rune two of hearts Still potentially work out where the secret room is as well. It's not there. We know that for a fact. We've been in there. Oh, another room. Two keys, two bombs. Spectacular. Another room. Really should have bought Hierophant card there first, but we're okay. Can still do the boss first, come back, grab Hierophant. Or take Hierophant on this guy. And the other guy picks up that as well, the butt penny.
And I think I'll stick to the angel rooms as well. Might get some good combos there. As much as I would still love Brim. Actually, sing single room attacks are fine. It's, it's greedier mode. Brim is no good. Has a tendency to switch before the charge is done sometimes. distribute these uh... okay so what's the previous room right here possible location here negative not gonna waste the last bomb then unless we can work out exactly I mean, maybe here? Hello, Fancy Mar. How you doing? Alright, Hierophant card. No, let's save it. Without a map, it's not worth guessing. Did I best greedier mode? No, we almost had a breaking run. That crashed. I was able to almost recreate it, and then it, uh, then I accidentally summoned a boss, and that was the end of the run. So we're still going. The Hierophant. Still no beat. Yep, that's, yep. Not just any boss. Yeah, right. The, the worst one. You beat it in the past week? Congrats! Sure is a tough challenge. Time to leave. All right, down we go. Please give me a map this time. Excellent first floor though. Really, really happy with that. How are the snakes doing? I haven't seen them other than little miss over here. She's kind of pushed her greenery away. You can see her now. Um, she's doing, she's doing fine. No map. Cool. Lose most of the health I just gained. That sucks. You're a fan of snakes, uh, Tracer? Yeah, we have three at the moment. Another one is on the way. Kill me. Uh, check out that second link. That's Ms. Queeb's, uh... <laughs> right, unless Ms. Queeb buys one randomly. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, the second link is, is Ms. Queep's Instagram. That's where most of the photos of the snakes go. Okay. I can't stand this freaking trinket. You thought you'd see Loaf on stream more? Loaf has quadrupled in size since you've last seen him. Again, not being facetious, that is accurate. Um, and bringing him in here is, is a whole thing because of Zoe. Previously, we can just pick him up above Zoe, but not anymore. Yes, that is the dog's real name. Although, in this household, every pet gets... Uh, gets half a dozen names. What's the command, Ms. Queeb? Do we still have the command where... Uh, of, of our initial meeting? Or my initial meeting of, of Loaf? Was it just Loaf? Uh, no, that ain't it. Puppy. Well, yeah, type, type that. Did I go in here? I did. was not an ideal payout. It is puppy right on. good items in the shop shops oh that's right uh we want to switch back before we go in there well actually i think you can go in but we need the other guy to see what's going on that'll do some blue health dude I need some blue health
No, why guy? No, we didn't. Uh, didn't beat it. He's tiny, and I love how fat he is and how squishy he is. It's awesome. And then he grew up, and now he's just... Well, he's still a bit squishy, but... He's, he's, he's a beast. It was during the subathon we got him, I think, right? Pretty sure. Twenty cents for a range up and a lucky penny. It's not the worst thing in the world, but no. Uh, where was I just then? Down here? No. Down here? I actually really like to fight the boss right now with this character. Could that be our secret room? No. Spiders are so unpredictable, man. Nice. One more room. Ah, uh, Tracer, that's sad. Yeah, we had a, um, we had another pet snake, Teddy. Kindest creature I've ever met. Beautiful, just beautiful. And, yeah, we lost him. He had a neurological disorder. He wouldn't eat. And it was, it was a whole thing. But, uh, I, I bonded. I, I, there was a connection there. And, uh, yeah, that one kind of crushed me a little bit. One bomb. There's a room there. It's got to be over here. Maybe. 
No combat. But Blackheart, perfect. That's all I needed. Uh. Yo, demon baby. Freaking superstar. Love it. Tears up. You've already had one. Oops. Not bad. Your range, absolutely terrible. Okay. This time we're going to get a map, right? Like we have to. It's... It's... Yeah, we have to. Two. Demon baby's really strong here. Alright, that's not right. Possibly. this room is. This is dumb. One down. Whew. Oh, there's still two left? Holy shit. Come on. There we go. Okay. Touch and go there for a second. Only a half... A half? Half charge. Uh, let's go in here. Okay. Okay. Mhm. Mm yep, that was just a trash room. the same start that we had before because that was really good.
case is dope. Recent battery, soul heart. All right, we haven't gone in there yet. Let's do that right now. Problem is we've got uh, two potentials here. Pretty sure both of these are viable. should have waited. That's fine. Three keys. That's how that's how we're leaving this world. any items at all oh what was the what was the act uh pinking shears got it yeah i mean i guess that's fine Okay, so I'm gonna go get this soul heart. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I can do this. Very good. Oh. Two stonies is bad. One's annoying. Three is kind of really frustrating. secret room as well. May well. Maybe me. Maybe maybe.
Very worth. Wooden chest again, huh? Crack dice. High priestess. The fool. Sakina, hello. How many hours do I have in the game? Probably at 900 and 980 right now, I think. Something like that. Timbo, what's up, dude? How are you, man? Thank you so much for the raid. Hope everyone's having a lovely evening. Uh, if we haven't met before, my name's McQueep. I play indie games, roguelikes. Most nights throughout the week, around about 6 till 8 p.m. Pacific time. The best time. How was your stream, Tim? You were playing something different, weren't you, today? I saw it, and I saw the title. Was it? You weren't playing Metroid, were you? No, it was another indie game. No, it wasn't. It was Demon Souls. That's that's what it was. Something definitely struck a chord, though. Team Timbo, love Team Timbo. Welcome, everybody. Can I convince Timbo why Binding of Isaac is a good game? Believe it or not, I've already had this discussion tonight. It is the grandfather of the modern roguelike. Um, it's disgusting, if that's your thing or not, I don't know. Um, and item synergies is is the primary reason, for sure. There's about a thousand items in the game at the moment. And uh, a lot of them work together to form builds, right? You've played like Hades before, I think, Tim, right? Hades is chef's kiss. I have my own opinion of Hades. I wouldn't... I mean, it's an amazing game. I can't dispute that. But I haven't... I have issues with it. Well, it's better than Hades, in my opinion. Um, low barrier to entry. High skill ceiling. Like, it's it's got the works. <laughs> Anyway, would you take a look at a game called Dice Legacy? I have it. I think somebody sent me that the other day. Haven't haven't even booted it. Do you know how many games I, I get given that I haven't even loaded? It's a lot. Do I want to roll that? No, speed up's really important. And now that guy needs shit. Am I in L LA? Yes, meow, I am in LA. When am I hanging out with Timbo? I don't know, man. Dude's a social butterfly. Bowling and margaritas and talking to dudes about how to date and and the the three Fs of, of dating. More power to him. He loves feet too. Well, I have feet. Oh yeah, I was there, Tim. I was there, I saw that.
That's gotta happen. Five bombs for 15. I mean, we could make that happen. I want this guy to be holding... The Fool? Ish. Five bombs for 15. That's pretty good. I do despise remote detonator though. Let's come back. Maybe. How does one 100% this game? Um... So there's 17 base characters in the game. Uh, each one of them have a little post-it note. Like that. Um, each one of those unlocks, except for save a few of them, are a secret in the game. So there's 936, sorry, 937 achievements on Steam. Getting all of those essentially would 100% you in the game. Uh... Each one of those is an unlock, um, and it's an item in the game. So the more you play the game, the well, the more difficult it gets, but it kind of evolves and you unlock a ton of items and, and the game changes in certain ways as well. Uh, oh, sorry, did I forget to mention every single character has a B-side in the latest update. So that's 34 characters in total. Um... Yeah, it's a lot. What am I working on? Uh, delirium. We're going to the void with this run. Well, we'll see. So far, it's average run. So not a lot going on here. Can get free entry into this room. Yo. Uh, who do I want that on? Yep, him definitely. Okay. Massive, massive, massive um, damage up. Glad I went in there. Did we buy the bombs? I think we do. What's my normal streaming hours? Six to eight ish. I I don't have a set schedule. I'm trying to work on that as we speak. Um, yeah, 6 to 8 p.m. And I usually go for about 8 to 14 hours, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, this is good. How much health does my other guy have? Oh, tons. Never mind. This is real good then. Can we get a sacrifice room? Surely I'm not that lucky. Yeah, we're usually playing this. Um, there's a few games coming up that I'm going to be switching to. I have Dice Shard. 
Okay, if we don't have a sacrifice room, we dice shard. Um, this one we might be trying out later tonight. I, I would rather finish this character first, so that's a very big if. Um, but there's one called Inscription we'll be, we'll be trying later. And, uh... Darkest Dungeon is another one which is coming out soon. We'll be jumping over to that as well. Silver Ninja, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for the support. Welcome to uh, welcome to the channel. That doubles damage. Does anyone know the damage multiplier of B-side Tainted Lazarus? But I have a feeling that jumps on our other character. And a gifted sub as well to Meow for 55, 21. Thank you very much. That is very kind of you. Why well, you put a blue heart in there and a key? I can get that. Let's go dice shard that other room since uh, clearly we're not going to be able to get a sacrifice room here. Sleep stream collab since he's asleep when McQueeb streams. Uh, speaking of sleep. All right, Timbo, take care, man. Thank you again for the raids. Very kind, man. I, um, I was especially impressed with uh, Timbo when he went to Austin. Um, those streams were really fun. Did you get, out of curiosity, Tim, before you go, did you get dinged for DMCA for having live music? Because I could have sworn I heard a few covers during that, during that trip. You didn't? Oh, that's awesome. Cool. More likely to get them for recorded music? Right, if the, I guess, content ID system or however that works, if it matches up, yeah. Vert pill, good to have. Wheel of Fortune, okay. Well, we have consumables. Next, was there a battery in the shop? No, there was not. Oh, damn. What's the speed of this guy? 1.0. The other character has a speed of 9.9. .9. They can't detect live music. Oh, really? That I didn't know. I thought they were smart. DMCA music detected Metallica. Live at BlizzCon <laughs> and struck down Twitch. <laughs> no.
No, we don't want that trinket. High Priestess. Do I take the speed on this character and suffer as the other guy or make it even? I guess if we don't... If we don't switch, we save that just in case. It's fine. Man, I really wish I had a battery. Both secret rooms. Nah, we're done. We're done. I had a muted stream the other day. I was playing a, um, it was a sponsored stream. I had a PR company contact me, you know, play a game and showcase it, whatever. And during that, I made particular mention of the music. A standout feature of, of the game, in my opinion. And, uh... I got a muted segment during that on Twitch, so I think the dev, uh, you know, small game studios can't afford their own composers, and it was, despite how good the music was, it did sound fairly generic. Um, so I think they didn't have broadcasting rights for it. So I wrote them and I said, hey, I've uploaded the clip to YouTube which has already been copyright claimed. Um, would it be okay if I deleted my Twitch VODs? Not that it, not that I think I'm at risk, but I don't want to have anything to do with it. Any chance to avoid that would be good. Twitch muting it thought it was pretty standout as well. So this guy is now super strong. We're in a situation where side A is the strength leader. Reckon? I reckon. Don't hit me again. Now we get a sacrifice room, of course. Perfect freaking timing. This guy's a champion, which makes him extra dangerous. Champions do full hearts of damage to you instead of half. What's that like with a low shot speed? That's kind of cool. Range goes to shit, so no. Side B, you should have seen it yesterday. Side B had nothing. <laughs> Which is funny because he starts with the damage multiplier. He's just a little bit slower and uh, much, much stronger. Do I have my flight yet? I mean, I could use bombs, but I'd rather use the flight tool or flight free entry into curse room or both. Come on, fellas. What makes matters worse is this run uh, wouldn't have been even necessary to start 
if I got the void yesterday or the other day. Yes, yesterday. What happens when you switch characters? That's this character's gimmick. That's the that's the major drawback to this one. It's not a it's not a positive. Maybe I maybe I could come up with an excuse for it, but no, it is it's a it's a drawback. So you have to see the on the right hand side you'll see four items and then the vertical line and then the other side there's nothing. This character that we're using is the character with the four items and they're they're quite good items actually. Other character has nothing. But he starts a little bit stronger just with less health. bombs is really nice so they share um coins they share bombs and they share keys bombs you'll see me planting all over the place uh what they don't share is items both passive and active uh trinkets keys sorry trinkets runes pills and cards now i can switch them manually but you can only do that once every six rooms. So it's it's a bit of a gamble doing that. Ooh. Okay, this is pretty cool. No, if you could switch them whenever you wanted, wouldn't be a challenge. Two spider items, not bad. What happened with the Greedier run? We restarted it, it was looking good, and then I accidentally sp stepped on the button and spawned the final boss. That's it. That's what happened. We're at 36% chance of an angel room. I'm feeling good. I think it could work. We've still got this as well. Plenty of hearts available. If I can fly, where am I going? Oh, curse room. We'll see. Seven forty-three AM for you. Nice. I'm sure we'll get there again. I'm going to try playing a different game as well tonight. That's why I'd really like to get these runs going. That last one <laughs> had it. It was in the bag. We were actually far better off today than we were yesterday. Certainly helps that we I managed to, you know, retain a little bit of knowledge from yesterday about the run in general. But then I just made a stupid mistake. I know, I know, shocking. Was there a battery in the shop? Might not have enough rooms left to charge this. Nope. Spawns the Forgotten as a temporary second character for the current room. 
that I can't... Can I control him? And can he pick up items, I wonder? It's worth a shot. Have a look. Soul of the Forgotten. Okay, yeah. Uh. Hey! <laughs> Would have used the dev console to consider Tainted Lazarus Greedy your finish. You were going to win 100% until it crashed. I agree, but n no, I'm not. I'm not down for that. Uh, Whiskey the Rim. We are heading to the void. No, I should have known better. I should have saved and quit. I should have... Yeah, I could have done a, do a dozen things differently. That's not the first of those pills. What is this? Didn't want that. Well, if there is another one, where was it? It's in the shop. We could go chest. I'll keep the keys. I'll just be careful with the bombs, I guess. Nice if we could fly, there's bombs everywhere. not it, huh? Damn it. Okay, well. So I still have the curse room. And we still have the the challenge. Let's go let's go to the challenge room. I think it'll be fine. That'll switch back. I'll jump into the curse room real quick, then we'll go fight the boss. When we switch, let's take this. Power pill. I want a bombs or key or back again. Kinda do. I, I have a feeling I saw another one though. Let me see. Let me see if I can find that. cents. Right.
Got to be very strategic with this character. Did it feel good getting a character at that point, though? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, at, at that point, I knew we had the win. But did we? That was the dumbest trade in history. I meant to do that before we switched. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, now you can hold on to that. We'll go in here. Fight, which means we're switching back. But, Blackheart, nice. And another key. Good, that worked quite well. Now we fight the boss. I still have a manual flip if needed. There is a bomb beggar there as well. I'm not, I'm not too keen on that. All right, secret room. And then we get one for free. Hilarious. All right, we'll use this with uh, A side. He's got more health, plenty of damage. He'll be fine. And we have a vert pill as well. We find something good, we can use it straight away. So spider mods doing amazing work here. I mean, other than showing us the health bar of each enemy we come across. Please don't get hit. Oh, shoot. Um, he, uh, he protects uh, us by giving random, uh, what do you call it? random attributes or whatever to enemies. Tears up. I mean, you could certainly use that. Range by any chance? No. And a bone heart. Sure, whatever, that's fine. Let's see what's in here first. Oh, baby. Right. So, sorry, I got it again. I got to calculate exactly what we need to do here. I'm going to take that with you. Gonna activate this. Hopefully that'll stay. May not. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna pick that up. And we're gonna fight this guy. Bit of a risk. Yeah, actually. 
quite quite the risk. Oh yeah, more of that. Come on, spider. Just hang in there, Queeb. I was out of the way. Come on, dude. I swear sometimes this game. Okay, now we have a character with a ridiculous amount of health. And one with next to none. Same as yesterday. Hey, spectator, what's up, man? I could get... Well, that's the problem. The bombs are... There's three of them on the map, and they're all in different rooms. It's hard. I don't... I mean, we could. Wow. Speed down. That's fair. Two batteries? I, yeah, I used the other one on the flip. We can technically switch back. How much health do we have on the floor? Okay, a little bit. Oh no! Oh, it puts my eternal heart right at the... Right at the start. I think we're done here. When used, stores up to 10 pickups from the current room. Using it again, we'll put them back on the floor. This allows you to move things between rooms. What about actual items? Well, I would want to take moving box with me. Unless we switch now. Oh, shit. It's a four room charge. Ooh. Damn. No. Kentai, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Oh, and I would have to forego... No, 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 we have the Bone Heart. So we just play this over and over again. We got like four plays on this. Not worth. Uh, yeah, we might as well get a bomb then. So we got an angel room. Yes, we did. We fought the angel. We got the key. Okay.
What would make this really good? Tech. Tech 2, actually. Be strikingly good on this build, I think. Oh, wow. One HP. Why is it always the same? get both of these. That, sh that should have been magic mush according to my calculations. Should have flipped there. Can't use bombs if you're dead, right? rooms here. Oh, God. You know what? Let's use a bomb instead. Get that half a heart. Not much in the way of secret room possibility here. Just to help out my brother. We'll get that because the other guy is not. Thank God that stopped. Oh, 
Oh, we've definitely got a ma magic mushroom in this room. I, I believe. power pills let's say both for the other guy That is a boss challenge room, though. Sensational. Okay. And I want you to also have the other item. Where'd that go down here? No more charge or uh, remote detonator. That's dope. I hate that item. And it's pin? Oh my god, happy days. needed no item room no shop either let's save the bombs here No, anything, anything progression-wise, so um, Polaroid, negative, uh, either of the key pieces, either of the knife pieces, stuff like that doesn't matter who picks it up. You still get that item, and it still, still works as intended. Yep, so they can each be holding a key piece. They can each be holding um, a... Uh, what do you call it? You know. I 
I might take this with on the way out. Yeah, there was some thought put into it, but... There's still parts of the game that are very, um, very much broken, unfortunately. They, uh, they thought of a lot, but they didn't think of everything when it comes to this character. There's a few items that will just straight up break the run. That's right, we've already taken damage, haven't we? He has a, a rather interesting take on what breaks. What's he said? Another 48 RNG. With the with the glowing hourglass, can you fight the same boss multiple times? And do you get another item for it? Probably not. Probably not. They they probably disabled that. on fixing all the brakes as they're too busy well I, I i mean we can't argue right who are we to say uh no you're not <laughs> was that just a straight up miss or I'll keep going Damn it. Unlikely we get the angel room. Possible, but not unlikely. We had a ton of bombs. And another angel fight if we want it. Um, come back. That's actually a good room for us. Super lucky. Wow. I'm actually blown away. Health up. Godhead. Wow, you're a lucky day, pal. Uh, do we want the fight as well? Yeah, with the flames we should be okay. Okay. So we just kept, became very, very, very strong. One of the best items in the game right there. 
All right, since we took a hit as well, there's no full heal, right? No. Let's, uh... Buy that. One of these and a half. It's a little, little risky here. We go get the blue hourglass. Item rooms probably God knows where, so it's fine. You keep that. There was another battery somewhere. Oh, it was 48 hour energy, which is available in the top room. Okay. We don't have filigree feathers, so we can't really do anything with this angel. Except to switch, I guess. Does Godhead give you health? I didn't notice. Isaac Godhead. No. No, it does not. Okay. What's well, five hits before we hit empty? We got one bomb left. as well. Oh, we've got an extra power pill. Please hold. I'm going to go grab the two coins down the bottom. Power Placement of secret room. I, I think I missed the placement before, but I'm still not willing to use my last bomb on it. Forty-eight hour energy. Everything's fully charged. We got blue hourglass on other character. I think we could have done better with the blue hourglass, honestly. That there was some there was another play there somewhere. It's okay. All in all, pretty good floor. We've definitely caught back up with uh, B-side. We 
get any form of homing on side A now, we're we're set. Don't even know why I got the key. That was completely unnecessary. Um, well, I guess bonus chance. Cool. Side A. Yeah, we're side A. Alright, so you're gonna grab that, 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 and that. And leave that for the other guy. Consider that. Gross. Really gross. Okay, this is fucked. What an absolutely horseshit room. So we have power pill, we can get in here for free. Not necessarily back out though. Ugh. Actually, we have the active item as well. I don't want to lose the bone heart, so I need three more full red hearts first on the other guy before we go into the curse room. That might help. Uh, Lador. The character switches between two variants every single room they have an independent active and passive item pool or item uh, loadout you'll see on the, the right hand side the line dividing the two so you've kind of got to power them up independently be super careful with what you're doing. A lot of planning involved. They're fairly even power-wise now. No, I take that back. Dude with Godhead is just slaughtering. there yet. Ah. 
course, there's creep there. Missed that. There was another heart back here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we could... We could now do the... Uh... So we need to enter the item room with this character. Because if the item's garbage, we'll skip it. And then get a little bit of planetarium chance bonus. Unidentified pill. Good pill, bad pill. Health down. Okay. What's up, teamies? How you doing, man? Uh, well, now we go back to the curse room. Do not forget that. I think that's going to side B. Good. Power pill or no. Alright, that doesn't work. Idiot. It's only on the way in. I wonder what the logic is there. Oh, this is good. Yep. That means we switch and now we go in here. Ah, uh, do we want that? No, it's going to be half as effective because we're switching all the time. Okay, we leave we leave that closed, and we go and fight a smaller room with this guy. Suspect room, man. Suspect room. Uh, let's go fight the big room. This is Delirium. Uh, you'll be sad to hear that... Um... So we started again after the crash this morning or this afternoon. And um, it was going perfectly. Everything went smoothly. Had tons of coins on the ground. And then I accidentally stepped on the button and uh, summoned Bambino. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually very, very upset about that. Uh, Tamunda, Tamunda, Tamunda. Give me one sec, let me go ahead and add that for you. Thank you very much for redeeming a gift sub.
one gift sub for you. try here with my bombs yeah oh we're not going into the item room don't be silly thanks for the gift sub no that you you paid for it with channel points it's the whole point you earn that shit Timmy's, yeah, so we're going to do Delirium now, hopefully. This run's going pretty well. Um, and then see how we go again. I did want to check out a different game as well tonight, though. I wanted to check out um, Inscription. with a greed fight eventually. Ah. Yo, that is good. Let's... We side A? Yes, we're side A. Okay. You want to get the fuck out of the way? Inscription, yeah, it's a... How to describe it? A deck building creepy sort of game. I can't, I can't explain it. I think the death... Deck building aspects are quite minimal, which is why I'm intrigued. Oh, a shiny key. Have I done Rogue Lords? No. No, no, no. Rogue, Rogue Lords is is too much of a of a deck builder for me. This one looks more of more like a tabletop card puzzle game. Um, so I can hand that, handle that. That would be really good for side A. How was it on you actually? No, we don't want that. fight the boss with you this time. Mm. 
No. Maybe. What do the key pieces give us? Are they a permanent angel room chance increase? Yes. How goes the grind? Still, still going, Cretina. Still going. Angel did chance didn't change then. Uh, well, let's go and grab that key. I might even. Oh, there's a heart back here as well. Hello, Death Ray. Hopefully, that room that we have not yet uncovered is a fight. Not a fight. Okay then. Bonehart, cool. I've spent all level trying not to get that killed. You're a fucking monstrosity. You should be ashamed of yourself. You shit, mate. Always wanted to say that unironically. No angel room. Mum's foot came down as he was in the air. Um, and for some reason that skips him, that, that misses him. Yeah. Sometimes, not, not guaranteed. Okay, next floor planetarium should be good. Alright, let's let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. We have an eternal heart here. I'm assuming that's from the challenge room. It must be. How have the runs been tonight? Failed my greedier mode after having the perfect setup. But that's okay, I'm not mad. Um, and this has been going great. It's been going really well. This is my second uh, attempt at this one. Uh, this is Delirium, and then, then there's only Greedier mode left after that. That's convenient that you're up there. Alright, someone's gonna need... Someone's gonna need that. Doesn't really matter who it is, does it? Let's 
give it to the other guy. So much to do in this game? Yes. Yeah, very much so. And there's so many strategies. You can get super clever with it, which is what I like most about it. Like, if you like strategy, this has it in spades. And there's a, there's, uh, there's a challenge in the game called Red Redemption, which is where you get the red key. How does it work? You have like 20 uses of it, I think, per floor. 20 or 30, Some, something like that. And you have to build out essentially outside of the realm of the floor to find like the true exit and, and whatever. Um, really cool. That's an excellent challenge. Very re replayable, that one. Oh yeah, starting, starting fresh. Um, well, starting fresh is one thing. Starting fresh with zero knowledge as a new player. That's tough. Oh, I should have grabbed the other key as well. I have played Risk of Rain 2. If you jump over to my second YouTube channel, um, there's about, I'd say, 40 hours of me playing it. I'm, I'm not great at it, honestly. I, uh... I... I... I had a tough time on easy, let alone, uh, you know, monsoon runs or anything like that. Far too many hits here. Big wigs coming into work tomorrow. Oh, how exciting. Hopefully they, uh... Hopefully they put out, like, a fruit platter or something for you as well. That'd be, um... A special day at work. Uh, but thank you, Death Ray. It's always great to see you, dude. Pizza party? Settle down, Sergeant Kenai. No one deserves pizza party. Save those for Ray's talks? It does humor me muchly when, uh, when they think pizza will solve all of the world's problems. Except paying people fairly. Won't solve that. So fun fact, I used to work for Sega. This isn't a pizza party thing, but Pizza for overtime was very, very common. Um, like to the point it became a meme of its own.
Shop and item room. Okay, this is good. How's Loaf doing? Loaf is a horse. Baby horse. Still a horse. It's actually not a bad item. Do we keep? Or is it likely that... Without seeing the full map, I don't even know if a planetarium is on this floor. Let's use that for now. Oh, that was a good call. And we got a battery as well. Okay, so this is cool. Let's buy that. And that. And that. And blow you up. And there's the world card as well. Go ahead and use that. No planetarium. Okay, cool. That's good information. Tainted Jacob? No, no, no. This is Tainted Lazarus. So now that we picked up uh, options, we'll go back into the item room. That's what I thought. Shit, but there's a mosquito. Uh, uh, and it re-rolls if you take it. Because it has to work out the second item it's going to put there. Oh my god, and we have a connection to the boss challenge room as well. Yeah, cycling, it's uh it's been an eye opener for sure. Like, you have to work out so much more than just... Oh, yeah. Uh, easy peasy. Just go, just go do the thing. No sweat. Forty eight hour energy. For 48 hour energy is really good. Tears up? Yeah, we need that. Two power pills and a 48. We are coming back out. Alright, so side A has... Side A has the Fool card, but I want to steal from Boss Rush. Picking up an item from Boss Rush, I think, is an automatic flip.
Jacob and Esau would be harder? Well, I wouldn't know. I can't answer that question because I haven't done it yet. Um... Hmm. A small delay? Yeah, I think you're right. So we want to end the fight. Well, I have a switch. I want to end the fight on side A, which means we want to fight mom with side B which is good because this is side B well worst case scenario it doesn't matter we don't have to come back out so Super secret. Mm, that I'm not sure. Of. Is my mic an SM7B? Yes, it is. Yep. you lately how much I hate god damn it hate this boss wow you absolute dickhead uh that double charges right This has actually worked out the wrong way around, I think. So confusing, hey? Oh, that hurt. Right, that hurts you. Completely forgot. Okay. Still got power pill. Other guy has the full card. We have a 48 hour energy. We can come back. Am I just missing completion marks? Or do I still have dailies? No, I've done both dailies. I did the 30 daily and I've done the, uh, the five in a row. Five in a row did not unlock. Um... I think I did the 30 in a row. I don't know. I can't remember. Either way, I used um, I used a Steam achievement editor to get them in there. Uh, but I 100% earned the five in a row on Steam, on stream. Took me a few attempts, actually.
Wow. Rip Angel, god damn it. GG. That's actually... Parasitoid would be kind of great. <laughs> Seraphim would help side A. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do. Drop that, pick that up. Yeah, you, you're my spider boy, the other guy. Cool, now we clean up. Got a sacrifice room. But A side has the wafer. T Polly. Oh, you should have been here yesterday. Had a four hour run. Day before that. Still make this work. Hey, Batoto. Does Wafer take half damage on the sacrifice room, or is it always one? It is half, right? Is FTL half to, hard to learn? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Very difficult game. Um, very rewarding, though. And the great thing with FTL is even though shit hits the fan from time to time, like literally runs can be fine one minute and then not the next. Um, it's, still, it's still very much... Uh, Sorry, I have to think here. Oh, we do have the battery beggar as well. Okay, let's use that instead of 48 hours. Um, it's still very much a game that's manageable if you uh, slow down, I guess.
double charge on both. Nice. Uh, I play a mod called Multiverse, which expands the world and it adds like tons of ships. Um, I would start with the original though. I think that would be, be a good place to start. I think it's on sale at the moment. What should we do? Blood donation machines? That will get us a ton of money. There's three blood donation machines on this floor. We might get lucky there. Uh, or... Just go straight for... How many hearts do we have? Quite a few, huh? No, maybe not. Only one left? thought we had much more. Let me check the store real quick. I think there's one in there at least. But we get eight plays from this one character. Well, I mean, seven. He'd be dead if we did eight. Right, one there at two cents. Pretty good. Hey, what's up, K-Rose? Half there. And to save having to walk around. Hour pill, 48 hour energy. Keep that. Half there. I feel like I have to go for one of each. No. With the wafer, let's do... Let's do the sacrifice room. We might actually get the angel room with that. I hate this layout, by the way. There it is. Okay. Little delirium. Is that going to be a problem? Probably. Nice. Troll bombs. Uriel. Leave. Let's get some of that fabled health we were talking about and then see how we go after that. Apologies for taking so long on these runs, by the way. We have the... I had the Rotten Hearts as well. Could just use them up. Definitely don't feel good about being... At 4 health. Although with Wafer it's not too bad. Power pill on donation machine. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Uh, 
And I could do that twice, technically, right? Don't you dare touch that door, Queeb. Shit. Okay, bummer. That's fine. Use the one over here. It's the closest. Nope. How's our other boy's health? What's he sitting at? Gotta be getting pretty low too. I'm doing great, Kevin. Thank you for asking, yeah. Having a blast. I've gone too far again. I could have undone that, actually. It's fine. Let's just hang on to those for the moment. So we'll switch to the other character. I've had a rough time with payouts from those. Forty-eight hours. Thank you, Miss Queeb. Your support is uh, very precious to me. Right, we switch back. Now I'm getting my dudes confused. So 
So clearly, I didn't actually have a 48-hour 48, 48 energy. Damn. Uh, a power, a second power pill. I'm, I'm again so confused. No, no, Queeb, you're pressing all the wrong buttons here. A side. A side. That's about all I can do. I played that entirely backwards. It's fine. We leave now. What's the worst thing that happens? All right. Oh, yeah, but Toto, yeah. I think I'm going to change the color. I had it very gold previously. And um, somebody outright said that they they hated the color. That's all right. Great opinion. Thank you for sharing. Um, so I changed it to more of a yellow, but I, I'm not a fan of that. So I might change it to something else. I'll, I'll figure it out. Busted machine. Yeah, and I explained to him, as I do with most people that interact with the chat in a negative way. Um, I said, you know, your your opinion is valid. I don't need to know it. <laughs> no map. King of the Spiders. Love it. Yeah, I love that even more. Everyone's got them and most of them stink. <laughs> Supposed to have the wafer? Oh, rotten hearts. Hilarious. Well, thank God for rotten hearts, actually, because that just protected our red hearts. Proper red hearts. Garbage room. Shit. Okay, cool. Nearly dead. potentially worth exploring. I don't know what the other pill is. 
friends till the end. Verb. Yeah, okay, maybe not. I have had Curse of the Lost three times? Three times or four times during this run? What was the last pill you had, my friend? Power pill, alright. Angel Room certainly isn't helping my cause here. find my way back here. Oof. I can't get across there, can I? Nothing can bridge that gap unless I can put a poop down. Correction. I can do whatever the hell I want. One blue. Mega Satan and Greed Mode with Azazel both on first tries yesterday. Dope. Couldn't beat Blue, Blue Baby. Fair. Yeah, it sounds about right. It's amazing how much of... of a turn of events can happen on these runs. Oh, do it, my dude. Love you.
Mm -hmm. Yep, anything with a really short cooldown is extremely dope with Bethany. Let's get the other guy there. Okay, that's good to know as well. In that case, I will take this one. Thank you, Bo. This guy kind of needs this. You too, my dude. Take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Who needs a map? Honestly, me. It, it me. Poison build we had yesterday was really exciting too. Amazing damage. Come on. Am I that slow? Yes. McQueeve, yes you are. Gotta flip it. Feel better? Much faster. And a tears up pill? Alright. Man, I'm really in the mood to buy followers and I'm not I'm not exactly sure why. Tears upgrade, or well, the few that we've had with this guy, super helpful. When they go out of their way to email verify, I don't think I have that turned on. Wait, no, I think email verify I do. Not the new one, not the telephone number one. direction. There'd be, but speaking of that, there'd be uh, automated systems to do that as well, to verify email, even phone number. For sure, for sure, for sure. 
78 cents. We get in here with the flight. Okay. Still an unidentified pill, huh? <laughs> That's gross. Speed down, health down, power pill, unidentified. All right. Fine. Hey, Moran. Yep, we're, we're getting there. Would have been much further had the game not have crashed yesterday, and me, as a follow up, screwed that up. that to someone, whatever. Can a planetarium spawn in the womb? Do you know what? Well, no, it might, it either might not be able to, or it did on the last floor, and because we, we couldn't see the map or didn't explore, it wasn't uh, available, I didn't even realize. A trinket. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And this one here. Familiars. Got it. Side B. What do you need? Hey, Senzo. stretch my brain here.
cool. Yeah, I think we can lose glowing hourglass. I can't can't see me stressing to use that. It was good good while it lasted. Right, we are heading that away. Give me a small room, please. Perfect. Too. Okay. <laughs> Damage is decent. Which is very good. Okay, so we're going to fight the heart with this character. Just got to remember that. Just a second too late. Oh, come on. Stupid game. Uh, how you play this? Hello. is dropping fast. I mean... <laughs> Offense is wonderful. Defense, yeah, not so much. Side B needs help. You beat Hush on Tainted Cane? Just greed mode left? That's awesome. I, um... I hate... Tainted Cane. I cannot stand it. I think it's awful. So I made absolutely sure... That I wouldn't have to do it. We did two runs on Tainted Cane. One run had literally everything except for Greedy Mode. Um, greedy Mode was actually quite easy with Tainted Cane. Straight to the void? Ah. Uh... <laughs> Mm. 
It was an insta kill. Yeah, I had a I had a card that activated uh, the Bible effect. Bible kills mom's foot and mom's heart instantly. Straight to the void. Ah. Uh, the chest could be so valuable. Even the first room in the chest. What's the room on the right? That's Hush, Ilmianso. You never looked up any recipes? Highly recommend it. Yeah, get yourself... Just get yourself powerful and, and get it over and done with. Unless you like it. Hey, in which case... In which case, um... Condolences. Uh... Cathedral. Yeah. Did we break the game? No. Sorry to disappoint. We were almost there. Uh, I accidentally pressed the button and then Bambindo spawned. Killed the run. Wasn't ready for it. Why are you flying now? Seraphim from the Bible? Oh, it'll end. It's temporary. Got it. It's like, what the hell is going on? Oh my god. Oh, don't give him the blue heart. Come on, that's just... Okay, this is good. after the lamb then in that case but I will full clear the chest if I'm able oh what a gross room ah. fun if the interaction stayed Oh yeah, it's it's not difficult to get Seraphim. It's pretty common transformation. Let's do it. Now's the time. 
come out, come out, wherever you are. Or don't. It's cool too, don't mind. Friends till the end. Who do we want to do this with? Probably A side. Yeah. Uh, B, B side is the the more proficient killer, but his survival rate is eh. Yep. Combat room? Nice. Get him, Spoodermans. Uh, before I do this boss fight, I need to run to the restroom. Gonna get another drink, please. Get up, have a stretch, grab a snack. We're gonna be here long time. Um, I'm gonna run three minutes of ads in the meantime. I will see you shortly. Did they make Godhead more common? No, probably less because there's more. There's more angel items. Here. Still amazing though. Uh, I'll be right back, folks. Please, stick around.
Thank you, folks. Okay. I guess the great news is that even with delirium, oh my god, I'm taking every hit here. Um, even with delirium, I can switch at the very last moment, right? If I need to, it's gonna be handy. My damage is crap, man. <laughs> My. I might have to switch here. Jesus. Homing is uh, nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. Ain't got a lot of range either. Okay, well, we did leave a heart behind. Bombs are key, no thank you. Okay, so we're going to the chest. Please be nice. Complaints. That's that's pretty good. Oh, chunky boy. Doesn't help that I'm also leaving creep everywhere. There's got to be a mod for that. Has to be. 
better visuals on enemy creep, I guess. Do I seriously not have a map again? Oh, Jesus. All I was trying to do was get back to... Get back to base. Oh, boy. Fine, keep hitting me. Guess what? All you're doing is making me stronger. <laughs> it's tough fucking runs, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Keep you alive, I suppose. Uh, maybe. All right, I'll take a I'll take a room full of basic spiders. Sure. Oh, so funny. If we had a map, that would have been really good. No, Jemais, you're spot on, man. to Jacob uh no even even the first uh, version of him is not fun at all is this it is this the end thanks for the penny dude I'm so I'm sort of not focusing on one like on the enemy directly, but rather whatever's moving on the screen. There must be a name for that. Three hits. Okay, shouldn't be too bad.
really wish I had a map, dude. Four times this run, Curse of the Lost. Chipper, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome, hello. Cat eye motion detectors. That's what it's called, right? That's the that's the scientific name. I'm I'm not very scientific in nature, so you know I never really paid attention in science. Just ask your maze, he can vouch for that. Devil cards. Oh, what fucking difference does it make? Um, on the flip, the damage this guy's doing is freaking extraordinary. No sweat, Vale, you take care. It's a tough fight, dude. Curses, once cur curses, literally. Activate, activate. Okay, get it done. Shit. Uh, flip, please. It's going to be one hit down to the void again, isn't it? Just give me a map. Mapping, number one best, what would you call it? Tool, attribute, feature. Okay. I can get full mapping if I'm able to survive for just the eight rooms. Just eight. That should that should do it.
Let me do a quick raid here. All right. Can you fucking kill something? What even? Something is healing this utter trash room. Oh my god. That was completely wasted. And we got massive damage up because of that too. No sweat, Potato. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Next, I kind of want to get... Uh, I mean, at least mapping, but I want to get... Um, a teleport card of some description. This can't be him. Let's leave that there. I'm not going to use any bombs until we get the mapping. Okay. Gotta be honest, when I walked into this room, I wasn't expecting just another nightmare scenario, but I mean, here we are. At least my damage is great for the floor now. I think that's max, by the way. If you're starting a sentence with at least in the void, you're probably not in a good place. He seems even stronger. That's wild. Yeah, that's max. Max damage. Exhausted. No, that's not for you. That is for you. One more room, we get our... Ooh. Our charge back. I have a flip as well. Nice. Desperate for health here, unreal.
Okay, so it can't be top left. It can't be... It could be the one on the bottom right. Or it could be one on the far right hand side. And I think I, I think I need a full clear here. So we're going to head left first. We'll clear out those four bosses on the bottom left quadrant. And we have a secret room as well. Super secret. Who even knows at this point? Stars is a teleport card. So I guess if we find him, we can maybe get out. You know what? This is perfect. Pretty big, dude. That is pretty big. Uh, not for you, though. No, you can keep that. I said I was going left, but... I want to stick by here so we can get this guy's spirit heart as well. Got some bad intel on the mushrooms? Ah, well that's where the funny part comes in. Um, magic mushroom doesn't exist. So, it's just a just a figment it's a nothing all right we can go directly south actually nice room uh flight makes a big difference as well for either character funny story if this was a single character and I said this yesterday and it's going to be true for almost all of these runs if this was a single character this would be an incredibly strong run we'd have finished the run two hours ago Rotten Baby would have been really nice as well. It's one of my one of my favorite uh, followers. There was a time when Mask was, like, by far and away, one of the hardest bosses. Oh. Oh, okay. That's really good. Oh, 
<laughs> you think mask got easier? Mm, I, I, it, I don't know. I fought him so many times that maybe, maybe, I, I don't know. Idiot. Oh no. We're at the far right corner now. Far left corner, rather. That was stupid. Hooray! Hello, Roma. So, what happened there? I accidentally used uh, a card I shouldn't have. Shit. We're wasting room charges now. That's where we're at. God. One thing's for certain. I'm glad I didn't use... Uh... Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Just so weak. No, let's go back. Skip a few rooms. We'll get them if we need them, I guess. You followed me because I'm cool. I appreciate that. Next run. Um, what time is it? It's 1.20 in the morning. So, regardless of the outcome of this run, we'll be switching games. We're going to be trying something else. But... Um, I only have a few more marks left to go here. The uh, and then tainted Jacob, all of it. looking a lot better now you're you're back I literally just answered your question okay do I still have a 48 hour energy I'm pretty sure I don't have it
No, I'm pretty sure I don't have it. That was top left. Oh, okay. Oh, dope. All right, then. Okay, sorry. Just had to uh, say goodnight to the wife. Uh, do I want to co-op? No, thank you. No, I do not. Oh, that's a horrible room. Do we want to leave this guy here? I wonder. So good. Um, the closest I came to co-op Isaac was with Ms. Queep. Um... That was fun, but she didn't. I mean, she had a good time eventually, but at the same, uh, at, at the same time, uh, it was her very first time playing. So she, she not only had, you know, all of the stresses of trying to do well while on, on stream, but learning an entire game. And I tried my best to explain it, but <laughs> it's Isaac. Later, Roma. Tears upgrades. Yeah, let's make you even stronger. Cop and Isaac would be better if both players had full characters. Well, they do now, right? Unless I'm confused. So, Kenna, take care. Enjoy your lecture. Hopefully. Focus on the 20 damage one. Um, it's a survivability thing. 
So this guy, other guy, doesn't hit as hard as him, right? I will probably enter the fight with him and switch when I can. This guy has Wafer, so he's more of a tank now. He's been sadly relegated to tank mode. Oh, dope. Oh, we're at our tier cap anyway. Wait, how is that possible? Eh, whatever. Ah, he used mascara. Or the fear shot. One of the, one of those does that, I think. Or luck is nice. Really surprised by the chest, though. I could have sworn... We would have been due for uh, a few more chests there. And the spiders. They're also doing great work. Shit again. Now we're talking. We're getting a cold-blooded killer. actually even look for uh, I might actually even look for the uh, what do you call it oh, I might look for the uh, shit eh whatever the super secret. Now that we have a golden bomb, might as well, right? So 
don't accidentally use that. Did they reverse course just then? I, I think they did. Lying about the fact that you're from Russia? Uh, I don't care, dude. That's that's cool. Now we're talking. That's damage right there. Oh, they didn't reverse course. They, my brain was telling me that it was going counterclockwise, but then it, sorry, flip that. How long until we find the secret room? Do I need to take damage first? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> I told you, I goddamn told you. <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew that was it. Had to be. <laughs> Shot speed up. This is a shame. I'd like to be able to fly to get those. Uh, okay. I am significantly more confident now. Rabisk. I mean, the damage is ridiculous now. On on both counts. deserve that there's our super secret so that should mean that this isn't 
It is. Oh, right. Okay. Screw it. Let's fight him. really is a bad boss. I don't mind difficult bosses, but bosses where you cannot avoid damage. Come on. Telefrags. Nah, that ain't, that ain't it, chief. little close. <laughs> Such bullshit, man. <laughs> if we were tainted lost, we'd be dead many times over. I mean, granted, if we were Tainted Lost, we'd be so much stronger right now. Oh, it's like pulling teeth. And now all we have to do is break, uh, break Greedier and we're done with this character. Oh my god. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Not do it again. <laughs> oh, that's another one down. To think I could have actually, I could have finished him tonight. God damn it. For those just tuning in, this is uh, one more run to go here. Greedier on Laz, thank God. And then I've saved the best till last. Although, let's be fair, I don't think this is going to be anywhere near the problem that Laz is. And plus, I really want to science Jacob as well. I want to find out how much health he has. I want to get uh, an eraser, work out how much health on each floor. I'm going to write that down. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll calculate it, but we're almost there. We are going to switch games. It is time. So, 
yeah, so Jacob, A side Jacob, regular Jacob, has uh, Jacob and his brother, two separately controllable characters, but they share items. Um, no, wait, no, they have split items as well. Um, but you've got kind of double the firepower because they're two separate characters. The problem comes in learning new controls, um, positioning where you're standing and where, you, you know, making sure that the hitboxes aren't touching anything. It's, it's difficult, but you can also get a little bit of um, an advantage in that run by uh, with the ability of picking up dual items. So if you go with the alternate path, um, it's definitely, definitely doable there. Tainted Jacob has uh, Esau, still his brother, but he's this angry spirit that flies around. If he touches you, you turn into the lost. No mantle. You die if you take damage. Um, he can only sustain so much or so many hits himself, right? So it's going to be a challenge no matter what, but I'm... I'm, I'm actually looking forward to learning that. Yeah. Did I see the glowing hourglass mechanic Cobalt was using with Tainted Jacob? No. Tell me once every four rooms you could just reset the room and if you get hit... And your brother is alive again. Or, wait, you take damage, you turn into the lost. You kill Esau. You get turned into the lost. You blew hourglass. But you're not the lost. Holy shit. That's easy wins. That's easy wins everywhere. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Forget about it then. All right, we're going to switch it up. Uh, I am very proud of that though. Again, big sad about Greedier. We'll, we'll get there. Do it tomorrow. How many hours have I been streaming today? Only five. Good. Let's have a look. Where's this game? Inscription with a Y. Inscript. That's weird. We're playing Inscription? Yeah, yeah, we are. Is it out yet? Steam inscription save 10 percent yeah yeah it is okay wait what's this beginner's deck oh wait there's there's new shit as well what's the beginner's deck Oh, different game. Never mind. That's from the makers of the game. Okay, cool. Figure out what's on this thing. Hey, 
It is a card game, yes. Try that again. It's weird. It's felt that way because of Oh. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Inscription. I I get it. I get it. Crypt. Okay. Didn't even occur to me. Later, Dorian. Take care, man. No, new game is off the table. All right. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Yep. Allow me to remind you. Thank you. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Oh wow. Interesting interface and I I'm surprised the game isn't telling us more about how that works. Uh yes, I will play a stoat. Stoats cost 1 blood. Sacrifices must be made. Okay. Blood is the little tear in the corner, fair. An honorable death. The trailer was what really attracted me to it. So what's this S down here? Oh. Bring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. And we have no... We can't play these. Okay. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. Okay. Your stoat dealt one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote got two attack one health makes sense okay so attackers don't take damage back like some games will do my kite kite it's that's a very difficult word for me to say coyote co coyote dealt two damage to your stoat that means your stoat's health is two less, yes. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Okay, these are these are the squirrels, right. Uh I'll take a squirrel. How dull. Um. The 
the wolf demands two sacrifices. Ah, okay, okay. Do I get to choose the cards? Let's find out. Yes, I do. Okay. We got three attack and two health. So we can take this out. I wonder if the damage will pass over. Fear not, the beast is sacrificed but not removed from your deck. Understood? Its suffering was real but you will see it again. Right, we definitely don't want to take uh, life point damage. Sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh. Form, former Yu-Gi-Oh player here. Um, especially two. So now we will see if... You may only draw a card at the beginning of your turn. Attacks play out after you end your turn, I guess. Yep. He did not take life point damage, so... Got it. Because you are learning, I will pass. A river snapper. Pass. Five hit points, I guess. Five. Okay. They won't all be so easy. Yes, it does help when you skip a couple of turns. Let me recall your story. You were lost deep in the forest. Oh, okay, we've got events coming up as well. Looks like final boss. Okay, we've seen this before. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The caustic adder. It's a good boy. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Like lethal, lethal. Okay. The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Ah. No attack, but he comes back to your hand every time. I may only pick one of them. Another creature joins your caravan. One of the creatures of the forest. I missed it. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Alright, so a one-use single squirrel card. Out of turn, most likely. And have a second. Another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Air pliers. Three is as much as you can carry. So we've got three active items, I guess. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while you were sleeping. It was the right play. I don't blame you. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Why? It's just for... Just for shits. I'm guessing I can only play one, right? But like if I did, it adds it to your hand, all right. Behold the rule book, pliers. To the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. 
Oh, that's not a very nice implication. Okay. Very fast animation between the the different um, scenes. All right, let's have a look. It's got a wolf cub doing one damage. And there's a boulder here, which is just sitting there waiting. So we've got a couple of lines of defense here. Three health. This is five. I see. I see. So it's going to take him a while to chip through that. And we can only place one of four cards here. They have uh, more options above. Actually, that might not be true. We'll see. I'm sure we'll learn that. You are lacking sacrifices. Boulders don't count. All right, fair. River Snapper 2. Stoat 1. Squirrel. Uh, all right. Can I play more than one? Yep. And that should be game. Mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. Uh, excuse me, sir. Where? Why is why was the bite not lethal? Touch of death. When a card bearing this sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Ah. Well, shit. Here I was expecting an instant win. I was like, ah, sick. My fault for playing ahead. Um... You got two attack, one defense. Very interesting interface. Very interesting. Kind of, kind of weird. Okay, I played that wrong. I didn't realize. Are we always attacking first? I thought for some reason it was his turn. I guess I guess we're always attacking first. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Interesting. Ha! My bat flew right over your stoat. Oh, no shit. How clever. Well, it's dead anyway. This is very bad. It should defend us one more time, but then we've got a three attack beast coming up, which we'll have to put River Snapper down for. Two health. Okay. I get it. I get it. I'll take another squirrel then. Mm.
we'll leave the stoke where it is for now. You know, you can play more than one card per turn. Yes, yes, I did know that. Right. So he's got two health. Let's take his wolf out. Pick another squirrel. Another wolf. If I place you there. Yeah, that's that's won the game. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. Oh, interesting. And it's a one sacrifice. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Two health. No, I'm going to take the wolf cub for sure. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. We can have two wolf cubs. Pick me. That's a that's another stoat, isn't it? Why is he saying pick me? Wolf Cub seems really good, at least on paper. I can get one down in a single turn as long as it survives. Full size wolf. ghastly spectacle oh hold up those were my cards but the soul of the adder now lives in the wolf cub So does that mean if this single point of damage hits an enemy, it's dead? That sounds pretty unstoppable. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Oh shit. All right. Well, at least my wolf's going to survive.
Airborne. We'll strike an opponent directly. That is going to hurt. Coyote. And he's got a bat which is already flying as well. Okay. I assume, I assume we go first, right? I'm still yet to learn this turn order. Get ourselves another squirrel. Guppy, I appreciate that. Thank you. You can't draw on your first turn. Okay. Let's try this at least. I didn't do jack shit. Can I not hit flying creatures? I wonder. I'm gonna lose. Unless I sacrifice, but even then... I'm going to take four hits. We're already one down. I think that... Nope, that gives us one turn at least. I attacked an empty square. Oh, you have to wait for them to move forward. Okay. Can use the pliers to help. Oh, good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Figured that was what was going to happen. A well earned point of damage. I didn't think you'd really do it. Four damage away from winning. Yep. Dead next turn for sure. So can he... Anything with flight, can they do direct damage to me? Or do they have to be on... Like if they're back here, can this guy attack me? Flight is rough, man. That's his intent row. So they're not actually played until they're here? Hmm. Yeah, I can't out damage this dude. Although I could stop. <laughs> oh, I'm screwed, dude. Three damage versus... No, 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 no. Six damage. Okay. Okay. 
I've used all of my uh, my abilities. Snapper. A lot of defense does no good with flying enemies, huh? I think I lose this one. Okay, so this is this is what so the this is the enemy play field, right? They're gonna place cards, they have to move here. Once they're here, then they're in, in play. I get it. Does this count here as a hit? Let's find out. I can't do anything else anyway. Oh my god. Alright. Two health. The... Looking around is weird, this whole situation. Gotta get used to that. That's all done with the scroll wheel. So he's got four on me. He's, well, no, he's got five on me, and I've got three on him, and our score at the moment. Can I see the... Hello? Hello? Can I see the thing? <laughs> he's completely insane. You see that, right? Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps to watch me suffer. One attack. Okay. So he's going to hit me with five. And I'm going to hit him. No, he's going to hit me with three. I am also going to hit him with three. Cancel. Undo. Cancel. Go back. Doesn't matter. Kind of matters. I get it. So we get the advantage. I wonder if that changes throughout the run. Impressive, you may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. There's a campfire up ahead. I wonder what's there. Another wolf. We have several of those. Porcupine. 
The ornery porcupine's sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Only two health, though. Another river snapper. The little mushroom for. This is showing me what I already have, I guess. Yeah, it must be. Uh, a campfire or whatever the hell that is. Go here. Oh, no, that's the sacrifice one. Okay. Well, this time... Oh, where's my stoat? I kind of wanted to use my stoat. Right, one to sacrifice and we put our stoat in. <laughs> what an honor. Now, stoat has the abilities of a porcupine. If he gets attacked, the attacker takes damage. And one extra health on that, that one. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Brand fur. Defensive only? Defensive against flying. Grizzly! Oh shit. Six health, four attack. God damn. That's our boss right there, I suppose, huh? Grand fur can't be used. Oof. Put my river snapper up. This is four attack. It's only defense for one. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single point of damage. attack. What a brutal card. I can see, but this is a boss fight. We're defended against this for now. That's gonna change, I'm sure. Is it worth playing him? We get two turns defense. Okay, no, no, no. We're fine. Another grizzly? Holy shit. So how was he able to move and attack in the same turn? That was his... Okay, that was his turn. Okay, I see. This is a battle I do not think we can win. Squirrel. I could have replaced... It's too late now, anyway. Um, 
down as a sacrifice, but that leaves us in the same position again. <laughs> this spot? You sure? Yeah, dude. get enough out in time. Sorry, bro. Fair attack, man. Fair attack. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch the candlestick from a from atop the barrel beside the door. Wait, what? No. Bring it here. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, we got puzzles. So it's it's the room. Meets card game. These are locked down, huh? Oh. Okay, keyhole there. Now sit back down. Oh, there's a, wait, there's a table? Let me explain something to you. We're sitting on the floor. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Oh, it allows you to continue. I have a feeling that fight was unwinnable, regardless. Um... There's a backpack on the left and a campfire on the right. Let's go with the backpack again. We'll learn what the, ca the campfire is later. Skunk. Oops. Loses one power. Uh, at anything opposite losing one power. Good for flying enemies, I guess. It's like the ultimate defense against a single point of damage flying enemy. Cat and River Snapper. The cat comes back to your hand after it's sacrificed.
A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air if only for a turn. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Oh, I see what you did there. Choose one. Your creatures will attack as though they have the airborne sigil this turn. Stiff sock, no sweat, dude. Take it easy. I'm torn between the boulder and the fan. It's flight. It's only for a turn. I mean, that could win the game. Give it a shot, eh? Oh. So you get three random choices, maybe. Boulder or squirrel in a bottle? Squirrel, this is pretty good. I know it's basic, but I like that. Just having the ability to bring stuff out quickly is kind of important. I'll do that. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleating. A black goat is created in your hand. A black goat is defined as zero power, one health. Worthy sacrifice. Grants three blood. So that that goat takes one blood to summon. But it gives you three, which is a pretty massive summon. Okay. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items, you carried on. It's a great looking game, right? Like, it's super simple. And everything's got a really lo-fi vibe. Like, this is running at 1440p, yet everything, there's chromatic aberration. It's intentionally meant to make, meant to look, um, rustic, charming. All right, let's see what this is. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee haw, twas the prospector. He's doing the prospector again? Easy, boss. The mule's key. Pack mule. A sprinter at the end of the owner's turn. A card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sig sigil. Kind of like a CRT screen. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, if it gets too much for people, like if you, if you start to experience, you know, any discomfort let me know I'll, I'll change it but I like the I like the native look for sure sprinter at the end of this owner's turn a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed so it's a zero attack five health so the pack mule is gonna come here and defend the coyote 
Does that mean down and left or just left? And to what point, I wonder? We have a boulder. Moving target. Okay, so at the end of the turn, it just keeps moving right. Alright, we'll see how that plays. Uh, that must mean it's going to swap places with this one. We will soon find out. I could place a squirrel. Here's a question. One health on the coyote. But it ain't there yet. Well, let's science this. I'm going to place a squirrel. I'm going to use my goat. That's going to be my sacrifice. So that has to be sacrificed. Sacrifice that for the cat. Uh, no. That didn't do... Had no idea what blood is then. Uh... Hmm. Okay. get it. The cat isn't meant to be sacrificed at all. I'm trying to figure this one. empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. <sighs> Got some good cards, my dude. This has changed direction now. And it's raised up, so I guess it's going to transport over here. It stays on the board after sacrifice. Ah, okay. Give me another squirrel. Guess we're going to put squirrel down here. Got it. I see. Cub. That 
they all get flying? Oh, okay. Hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Okay, two turns. There's gold in them cards. I thought it, I thought you had to select one. Okay, that's dope. Um I've struck gold. Okay. Fucker. And this is why you don't go hard straight away. So two health. These have two health each. Let's have a look at these. Doesn't have any information. Bloodhound. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. Opposite to an empty space. It's a defender, okay. these work I wonder wish I had some information on them you're out of space there's no room for that card okay so these have to get destroyed this has no attack, this has no attack, and this isn't in play yet. Oh, okay. Okay, so these, this is meaningless. The fact it's a gold nugget and shiny is, is irrelevant. It's just a blocker. I got it. Challenging. I need other stuff to get attacked, but that's not going to happen. This guy's just going to keep attacking me over and over. Unless... So let's see what happens. This... It's at the end of a turn? Uh, we'll see. Attack first. And it just... Okay. Once it reaches the edge, it turns around. I can't... I can't do anything. I mean, I can defend with a squirrel. Can you use a gold nugget and the free space as a sacrifice? No, 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 you can't. All I can do here is defend over and over and over again until squirrels run out. Unless there's some kind of way to get cards back. Okay, now I can at least do something. Uh, I'm dead regardless, I think.
dead regardless. There is no play here. No, these are both double sacrifice. So, no, that's it. Um, Okay. Understood. More gold for me. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor I would like a memento your very own death card it's quite plain at the moment isn't it we will work together to amend that I want this to be the perfect memento of you here are some cards from your mediocre deck we can put them to good use Please choose a card to draw at, draw the cost from. A cost of two blood from the wolf. And another, this time I will use its power and health. The numbers. But not the ability. That's a shame. One power and six health from the river snapper. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Sigil of fledgling. And a sigil of touch of death from the wolf club. Oh! Oh! Okay, this has two attributes. Fledgling means it grows, but it turns it well, it turns into a wolf. I wonder if we could increase this to three. Well, we'll see. I never did ask your name. Oh, look at that. Queeb. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you un can understand bones. Today is a no bones day, my friend. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. Oh, we got a new uh, a new resource here. Okay. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Is that is that a free draw once we lose two cards? What about sacrifices? Do they count? Rattler, three attack, one health.
Interesting. We attack one health. Cool. Uh, but I can't use that yet. Get the start out. So then the next turn, he'll be placed here and attack. So we're going to wait on that. Well, do I want to take the hit? That's the question. Or do I sacrifice my little buddy here? I'll take the hit. There you go. Bone token. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Space Gaming Lab. What's up, dude? How you doing? <laughs> Again? Yeah, bud. I'm sorry. Three attack on my wolf, hey? It's a little bit mean, if I'm being honest. Bullfrog. A f flying bullfrog? Mighty Leap. A card bearing this sigil will block... An opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Oh, dope. Okay, so defense against flying. Got it. What's two, seven, three? Uh, you're going to have to help me out there, dude. I have no idea what you're talking about. In the notebook. I don't know. Is this a spoiler? in red. Jesus, it's large, man. Interesting. Well, that's a combination of some description. Hmm. 
make a note of that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to lose our wolf to another point with a possum. Oh, never mind. Got it. If there's nothing in the middle. Right. I see, I see. The middle row is, is throwing me off. But I understand now. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. You mean this safe? Where I'm going to put... Two, seven, three into... Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is the stoat, the stunned wolf, this madness must end. Put that away. And a key. dope you've got to this is a little yeah you have to work out um <laughs> you got to work out where these slide to Does it have to be exactly five? Oh, this is single points. Never mind. Skink. I forgot I'd put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one every so often. Okay. Uh, Ale, hello, welcome. Here from TikTok, that's awesome. I love TikTok so much. I hope you're having a, a good day and thank you for visiting. Are these cumulative? Do they change? No. So some you can move, some you cannot. Is there any indication as to which ones I can? Same ale. I, I stay up real late here, though. Most nights are... What are they, what are they called? The mid, midnight oil? If this one's neutralized.
formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Oh, more? I didn't quite understand that last one. We have to do five damage. We have to one kill them, essentially, just working this out. Let's see what it is by default. Nothing. Yeah, some of them are just straight up locked in place. Oh, okay. Hold up. It's the metal bars right here. Wasn't immediately obvious. I get it. I get it. So the rest we can move around as we as we see fit. Alright, that's one damage to us. What are these ones here? This symbol on the left. What is that? So at the moment, we should be... Oh, this is flight. That's two damage. Two damage, that's four. Look up the symbols in the book. Where's the book? So we're doing four damage right now. We need one more. Okay, that spider symbol has something to do with borrowing damage or direct damage. The one you found the code in. Right, once we get back into the game proper. But we'll be locked in there, I think, once we get back. We're still in tutorial mode here. One damage so far. another copy on the shelf uh -huh. bifurcated strike a card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space cross from it figured that trifurcated same thing does it split damage or same damage to each probably same No problem, Al. You have a good night. Trifurcated. Let's see if we can work this out. One. Straight ahead, I assume. And left and right. One damage to these three rows. Not Gil, yeah. I I didn't realize, but I think uh, I think I'm starting to see it for sure.
That's not trifurcated. Oh, because that looks like this. That's something else. Well, we need to know what that is. Squirrel, sparrow. Okay, something else there. That Was that there before? Shit, I don't even know. Ants. The value repre represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Okay, dope. Mirror room. Bell ring. Card something. Boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Okay, these are boons. We need to find out more symbols. Mighty leap. That prevents airborne. Sharp quills. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Aha, but it's only straight ahead. Hey, Navarin, how you doing? So this is locked, and this is locked. The attacker takes a single point of damage. But why would we want this on, on the field? Why would we want that at all? Like, if we take damage, it doesn't matter, but it's better left undefended, no? That still has a single attack point. Yeah, that makes sense. understand the logic of this. Like the most we can do is three? Read up on the lizard skill. Oh, good call. I didn't even realize. Okay, yep. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right.
So the spot to the right is defended if that gets attacked. No, it moves to the right. But if something's blocking it, it moves to the left. So we need to not attack that, get three damage from this. But this is an automatic attack. Nah, we'd need to not kill it. Okay. Okay. Still not good. It's getting struck at by the bifurcate. It moves one attack. Let me let me reread that. God, I haven't played the room in forever. What a what a great game that was. I wonder if I've still got my iPad lying around somewhere. When a card would be struck. Okay, so guaranteed. A tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil moves so a tail replaces it and it moves wow so that's that's gonna happen whether we like it or not a tail gets placed here and it moves the only thing we can do is block it potentially If it's blocked, then I wonder if it moves over here. How far is this into the game? Oh, dude. What are we? Seventh campaign now, I think? Um, been going, going all night, so that's six... Uh, sorry, correction. About 30 minutes. No, you've missed you've missed next to nothing, dude. I wonder if we could block it both ways. I'd love to see it play out, right? So let's let's have a look. Left to right. Single attack. Straightforward, no problem. Next. One attack here, so that's two. This is the guy that hits the lizard. We don't know what happens when it's blocked both ways though, right? Like, does it stay there? Nope, this is stuck in place too. That would have been way too easy.
Now if... So here's a, a question. We we attack first. Yeah, we've, we've got the initiative in these puzzles, I believe. It's knowing what happens with this card. That's the that's the question. You should be able to do it if you put those two you just moved moved out inside. Navarin with the five minutes of information gathered has the solution. So what am I doing? Second and third one that are outside, inside. We've tried that. Uh -uh. it specifically states it moves right so it it just straight up replaces something it's it's going no matter what then what happens to this or whatever is there Or it will not move. Okay, so if this is blocked, that's fine. This has to be this this has to be open. That's the problem because we need we need the damage. We're not even getting close. Well, hold up. One point of damage. Two points of damage. This gets attacked. Nothing happens, supposedly. Three points of damage. This has one health, and it's going to take... This has two health. So that's staying there, which immobilizes that anyway. What an interesting puzzle. Is there a way to reset it? Does extra damage carry over? No. No, I'm sure there might be a card in the in the game or, or a, you know, a special ability in the game that does that. But at the moment, as far as we're aware, once a card is quote unquote dead, it does not carry the damage over. I'm one away. I'm three damage away is what I am. Let's pull everything back. One damage. So that would be from this. Okay. Two damage. Let's do some testing. What happens if I put this here? 
Still one damage because we're attacking first. These these are important. We gotta figure out why though. Let's read that one again. Oh, it was back the other way, wasn't it? Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Yeah, it's very straightforward. When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place. So it, it drops its tail. I assume it, let's just assume it's zero, zero, right? And a card bearing this sigil, talking about the same card, moves to the right. So we could attack these to theoretically remove our own attacker, maybe, for example. Now this is two health. Can the three two empty card be moved up? Yeah. Hello teamies. What's up dude? Thank you very much for the raid. Now that's it. Now we're taking and the one under it moved up. Nothing. Same. Correct. Yeah, these ones these ones are bifurcated. They're they're attacking opposite sides. What I was hoping to do was get this removed, which I think we were onto something there. No, this one removed. So it attacks. I, I assume we go on our line. We go left to right. So this guy attacks that. Takes a point of damage. It's gone, but he's attacking this at the same time. So it doesn't matter. You're very close. I mean, let's be real. I could brute force this. There's only so many options that it could be. But I, I want to understand it. I want to know why. Bifurcated also attacks left to right. Aha! Uh -huh. So not simultaneously. Okay, so that removes him. So he's not attacking this guy. Let's drop that. We now have one damage up here that's that's like the most i can do right there okay without having met her this wood carving is meaningless in time you will understand its power it when you look at it from left to right, and this is this is how like it's it's more of a puzzle game than it is a, a deck builder, um, because you're handed cards randomly anyway, seemingly. So 
Yeah. Can we still view it? We can. So what happens? This is... On these puzzles... Well, I guess in the game proper as well. We're attacking first, right? So this card attacks this side and this side, but it does this side first. And this card returns damage of one. Meaning this card attacks this. It's destroyed because it has one health. It's gone. It cannot attack this card. That was the big problem. This was creating a blocker on the right side. So that's zero damage at the moment, but we've essentially eliminated these two columns, right? This card here attacks one left. There's nothing here defending that and one right. So that's two damage. And then this card is our final one, which is three damage. That's five. All right, what else can we do here? I put this flame out before, but... Um, hello, little friend. What else can I click on? I love these sorts of games, by the way. I played the room one, two, and three. Room room one was amazing. Room two started to get a little bit supernatural. And then room three just embraced it and went full eldritch horror weird. Um, which... Which in a game like that, when you're dealing with like a lockbox, right? Or, or that sort of real world puzzle situation. Um, I don't know. It didn't make sense. A lot of the, a lot of the things going on. There's some kind of contraption here that maybe controls whether or not we can get that dagger. I am locked in here. Okay, so we've got two flames up here. The barrel here, nothing in that. Oh! You weren't there before. Where are we putting you, umbrella guy? Oh, that's my thing for the board? Oh, okay. But I'm still carrying it. Oh, that's what he wants. Okay, I got it. I got it. Squirrel and sparrow. The lantern. I'm not sure that was lit up before. It might have been. A hammer and some kind of scepter locked in place. There's our rule book. Pitch black there. And then we've got a clock. Let's search the rule book real quick. 273 was good. That's how we got started. Anything to do with time? Got ink stains everywhere. Failure. To the user, nothing will happen. This bottle is... This bottle of goo has no use. Hourglass. Hoggy bank. You will immediately gain four bones. Special dagger. To the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh, Jesus! 
I've seen Saw. Mm mm. Mm mm. Nope. It's actually not that big of a book, and there's nothing to do with time in there. Let us continue. I think I need a sweater. It's getting really freaking cold in here. Let me see if I can quickly find one. I'll be right back. All right, we got our little dude with uh, an umbrella. A meager coyote. Coyote. Four bones to summon that guy. Rattler, six bones. A brittle creature once past its monstrous fangs. I like the fact that we have other options now to to summon these cards. Cockroach. This insta kills. I think that's how that works, right? Unkillable, correction. Wow, I had to dig this uh, this sweater out. I haven't worn it in, I don't know, two years, <laughs> long time. Unkillable. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of its of it is created in your hand. Four bones. So good for defense. If something like this dies, do you get a bone as credit? Like, do you get a bone for the one that I'm assuming you do? Yeah. Good for sacrifice. There you go. Um, yeah, I'll take that. You're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. That's the one we looked at before. That's four bone tokens. This is one point. Uh -huh. And a boulder. I'll take you. Stink bug, you again. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? 
we have another friend here. I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. One thing I would like to do is change the speed. Dialogue text speed. Let's... That's a bit better. Noise effects. Okay. Brightness. Blech. Everything else is fine. Alter deck. Oh, interesting. All right. Stinky. Creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. So it could make one attack power defenseless or at least lower the attack of something so that it survives more than one round and we then we use it for sacrifice, maybe. Ant Queen. Ant Spawner. When a card bearing this sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. And I'm assuming that would be a lesser version of that. Who do we want to bring out first? Oh, shoot, I can't even bring you out if I wanted to. Okay, we got a sparrow with flight. One attack, one attack. Two health. So we're going to take two hits on the next turn at least. Alright, let's just get stowed out then. Total misplay. Where's the misplay now, buddy? That's what I thought. We could bring the ant queen out. Ants. The, the value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants the owner has, has on their side of the table, and I assume this counts as one. Okay, so let's get um, squirrel. I'll play a squirrel. Bring out the ant queen. <laughs> oh, come on! Power in numbers, that's the ant's creed. Let's play you for now. That'll lower, lower that sparrow's attack to zero. And we'll be able to take it out. We have a worker ant, which we can't play yet. Could theoretically replace it. 
Let's see what happens. So this is dead this turn, and this is dead this turn. Just get another... Another squirrel. And drop a worker ant down. Now we have two attack. Do it. It's got to be squirrel again, right? Well, not necessarily. I mean, I don't I don't need to do anything. We win. Cockroach. Cost four bones. If you desire it, you may stand now. It will allow me time to plan. Is this my deck? No. Yes, must be. If Stink Bug and Ant Queen and Worker Ant are there, yeah. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. Oh, cool. So this this game mode you can sort of come in and out of. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Wonder if anything can reappear in here. This globe's interesting. This almost looks like something. That's the table we're sitting at. So the clock is the only thing we haven't yet uncovered, huh? Alright, we need to make careful note of any mentions of time. There's not much else we can do, I don't think. black goat sacrificing it grants three blood so I'm still unsure on that clock seems easy to brute force that would that could take a very long time don't tell me the answer, please. 
if, if you have seen this or, or done it, I don't, I don't want to know. Hey, it's Queeb. A card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. I mean, we got to, right? Especially since I don't yet know how blood works. Oh, hold on. A card bearing this sigil is counted as three blood rather than one blood when it's sacrificed. So it does work the same way that I was wondering before. But it wouldn't let me play another card. So essentially you could swap this for... It's... it's Yeah, you swap this for a, hi a higher... A higher tier. We'll give Queeb a shot. Oh, that's new. Okay, so we've got a couple of different symbols. I was going to go and check out the, uh, the campfire. However, looks like we've got... Oh, hold on a sec. No, that's just a regular backpack, right? And we're already full of items, so that would be a waste. And we can go from here to either a fight or the bird icon over there. What was the sundial ability? After one turn, it turns into a stronger version of itself. Let's check out the campfire. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they're huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Hmm... Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. Mm. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Now, it literally does say plus one attack here. Navarin, don't... It, it's all good, man. Let me, let me, let me discover it. Let me find out. Oh, I'd love it if the cockroach was stronger. Warm it, right? Let's... Let's try the cockroach. You keep your hands off my card. The fire warmed the poor cockroach, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the cockroach away from the fire and left. So maybe it's a 50-50. It's probably a 50-50. Oops. Same as FTL. Those those events where, you know, it can go either way, but if you're worried, maybe don't use the one that uh, <laughs> that you're really concerned about. Oh, so this is the special fight. So it was a regular fight, or... I'm still not used to the symbols. I thought this was something different. Alright, what do we got? Mighty Leap. A card bearing this sigil will block... an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Oh, okay, that's no big deal, but that is a wolf cub. So that'll turn into three attacks after one turn. There's our worker ant. 
Cockroach, four bones. Oh, I've got a skink? Okay. Two health. I would very much like to see how this works. So I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to use it as a defense. Had we have done that puzzle after this, maybe it would have been a little bit easier. Hard to call it cowardly. So straight up, if it's about to be attacked, not even before it's it's attacked, it summons Wiggling Tail. Wiggling Tail. It moves over to the right. Cool. Um. This has already taken a hit from the previous turn got no attack alpha leader creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power oh shit we have one bone We could summon both of these as well. That's another option. But we get... We get bones regardless. I say we leave them. Let me pull out an ant. Or, yeah, we'll pull out an ant. This is about to get real scary. Two health. Alright, we attack for two. That's three. Watch the roach's special ability. It comes back to your hand when it dies. You could sacrifice the tail. Yep. Um, I'm going to leave it there for defense, though. Although, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe taking this out before it grew would have been the smarter option. Yeah. Well, too late now. Huh! <laughs> Okay, we took one hit there, right? Yeah. There's my, my stoat. Three health. Oh boy. Yeah, taking this out earlier would have been better. Another wolf cub. Oof. This is very bad. I 
gotta go with my bones here, I think. Yeah, let's get rid of that ASAP. Okay. Fine. it is then. Mighty Leap. So that's the same power up that his cards have this turn. Next up we have a trap and then after that we've got uh, an upgrade rune, a bag, bag, fight, card draw, upgrade, special fight again. You are stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at m look at me pelts? The trapper dealt in teeth, the type collected from battle. Wait, we're collecting those? They're gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Oh, okay. Take a pelt free of charge. Rabbit pelt, one. See the quality. Uh, these are placeholders, maybe? Yeah, you leaving already? Please consider me pelts. But I got snow teeth. You'll need more teeth for that one. No, teeth would be displayed in here. I'm, I'm assuming these are placeholders, and if they... Mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Thanks for your business. The man assured you the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. Mm-hmm. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Interesting. Okay. Next. I want to end up over there. Let's see if we go this way.
The choice is yours. So here's where we buff a card with one of these sacrifices, one of these skills, essentially. Make your deck worse for a time for a reward later. Yeah, missed it though. That's that's what I get, yeah. Queeb needs a tail. I don't think if if they're being offered here, I don't think that And I could be wrong, but these these you couldn't stack abilities on another card. Queeb is a special one. Make Cockroach an Ant Queen. An interesting play. I really like this ability. Putting that on someone stronger might be a good idea. Undying Ant Queen wouldn't be necessarily a good idea because it's a two sacrifice summon. Sacrificing a sentient card is a good choice. That's actually really important. Like he's saying to us, the choice is yours, right? I like my cockroach. Let's do let's do the undying. This is this is for four bones, so instead of bones, maybe we'll get a, a single sacrifice. Be good instead. Interesting. Caged wolf. So you can stack abilities then. What if we sacrifice the ant queen to the worker ant? So essentially our worker ant would be a one cost summoning it's specific to that copy oh okay okay so if we spawned a new one hmm undying stout um, i don't hate that actually undying stout's really clever Undying is almost the best thing to use here. So, generalized question. What we're going on now is a, is a run, right? We failed once, we've died, whatever. We've been allowed back at the table. Whatever changes I'm making now, I assume are, are contained within this run. 
I don't know, maybe I don't want to know the answer to that yet. Undying Wolf? No, I think I'm going to do the stout. I like that. He's got three health. It's a decent defender. <laughs> Undying Skink can resummon itself with its own tail. Oh, yeah. That would have been a pretty dope combo. Oh shoot. So strange, why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. So all of these cards are gonna move to the right. I still need to work out what order they work in so that they'll play have a quick look here. At the end of the turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed. And I assume it, the attack resolves before the end of turn, right? There's a spider on the screen, that's gross. Ninety percent yes, but there's some certain things that you can do that affect the stuff outside of the game. No, that I that I got. Thank you, Not Guild. Yeah, that's I so I assume that already. Play, then attack, then move. Okay. So I'm going to take two hits then. Oh, you need bones. Oh. Okay, never mind. Two health, you say. Dang. Navarin. I don't think it's a rogue light as much as there's a like a story that you play out over multiple runs in addition to what we're currently invested in right here they're flying anyway all oh, right cool okay that's actually good for us That's it. That's my move. Oh, did you see that? So this guy was going to move right, but it was being blocked by this card. So it went, you know what? I'll stay where I am and I'll head left next time. So it, it, viewed this as a wall so it's not going to move from here either that's cool skunk so the skunk can't actually come out now not this turn at least Do we want to sacrifice my worker ant? No, let's see what else we can pull. Ooh. I want to see what we grow into with Queeb. Next 
next round, Queeb with a Squirrel. Well, we're going to take, what, two damage? We've already taken... We're one down right now. This doesn't die, it moves over. My worker ant becomes zero after the skunk moves in. That's going to be a stalemate. We could force it as well, but I, I don't think using these is necessarily a smart idea either. We also get stink bug out next turn as well. We just end the turn. can bring stink bug out stink bug has one attack but he lowers attack as well two health so he would make a squirrel zero ah uh, sorry a sparrow zero two hits and we're dead we have to we have to do something here. So we can bring Queeb and Stinkbug out or Wolf and Stinkbug. Get some just direct damage on there straight away. Stinkbug goes here. This will be gone, but this will be dead. Which means next is Skunk with three health. That's fine. Actually, that's kind of perfect. All right, so Queeb's going here. When Skunk com comes into play, um, Queep's going to be lowered to one attack, but that's for one turn. We're still going to take one more hit. One hit card dead on Queeb. Oh, snap.
Okay. Okay. That's yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, so we've completely blocked off this edge, uh, at least for a couple of turns. Skunk does nothing, and Queeb just grew in size. Plus two defense, plus one power. We have lost. Oh no, he's grown now. He's grown. The other one was the the opportunity to grow. This doesn't insta-kill insta um, the player, by the way. It only, uh, only insta-kills cards. I see the way this is going. That's probably just flavor text, but you never know. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. Oh, shit. Oh, it's like an olive branch. Teeth or no teeth. Teeth or no teeth. I gotta be careful though. I don't wanna overkill. What's the score? Is there an easy way to see that? Yes. Two attack, zero, zero. Put my squirrel here. This is gonna last two turns. Okay, see how we go. Another squirrel, yes? Another squirrel. So this dies, so it's another two. That'll give us plus one. This goes here, and turn. Next turn is plus three. Ugh. Let me view that thing. We want overkill? Oh, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working. How am I getting this so wrong? I just want to see the... The scales, bro. Need to draw first. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Thank you, Jesus. Rabbit pelt. So we skip a turn. That's three. That's plus four. The following turn. We fuck them up. Caged wolf. Now wolf comes out. And turn. Oh yeah. Gimme give, give them teeth. Hmm. 
campfire I'm hesitant on. The backpack, we I mean we haven't really used it. What have we got? Pliers? And an insta squirrel. We could go for another card over here. Or find out what this is. Wouldn't hurt to select another item for the final fight. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose a, not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. We don't have the goat this, this go around, do we? No goat. Higher cost, better the beast? Oh yeah, no doubt. No doubt. That's that's going to be pretty universal across most of these card games. We've got two that require bones at the moment. The, the plus symbol here is interesting. I wonder if it wants... I guess that's just X number of, okay, X number of bones. Caged wolf cost two blood. Well, we don't know if it's a sacrifice or something else, right? And I want to find out what this is and how it works. Is it just another useless... Let's find out. Do this. A random card with a cost of two. Okay. Yeah, fine. What were you expecting? Hey. My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. The, assess the incessant clank clank clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Oh no, it's the Prospector again. Pack Mule. Zero attack. So he's going to be staying here. Coyote with two attack comes down here. The smoke. Bone King. When a card bearing this sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Oh, snap. I, I got it. Guys, <laughs> let, me, let me play the game. <laughs>
All right, we have the opossum out, which is nice. Can you sacrifice the smoke? That I couldn't answer, but it's dead anyway. Still curious about this one. This symbol here is the same as the symbol on um, on the pelt. So I wonder if it's uh, wonder if that's it means it's a useless card or whether this actually does something. There's no effect. So I'm still not sure. We've got to be careful as well. Don't forget. He turns my four cards into uh, garbage later, so we have to wait. So maybe earning the bones and just maintaining defense in the first turn is a good idea. While still doing a little bit of damage? I don't know. No, the smoke is a regular card. It's just free to play. many bones. Insta-kill insta coming up. See, the boulder has the same one. You think he can take out the boulder? can play opossum. can also bring Queeb out, but I'm concerned about that. I don't know if we get the cards back during the second phase. boss again. Hey look, it's our dude with uh, unkillable. This is very good. Three health. Pack Mule's going to be moving left and right as we go. And we get a bone from it as well. Okay, good to know. This is going to be blocked. Take a hit here. 
Oh, he did come down first. That didn't play out how I expected. Because it wasn't his turn. It moves at the end of their turn. Got it. Well, that's a little bit of a problem now, isn't it? I want to save these tools for the, for the last fight as well. Do get this guy back again. Wolf is blocked for now. Yep, he won't be after next turn. Two damage because I'll do one to him now. Is it time for Queeb to come out? It's so risky though. Now hold up. If we put Queeb here. Use wolf. Can't draw a wolf right now. This wolf? Just as a defense? two turns and then we see what happens when the cage breaks maybe nothing maybe something on the flip I can't really take another three can I love the soundtrack man it's cool it's creepy as hell Nothing is here. This guy attacks. We take three anyway. Draw piles. One's a squirrel. Which is sacrifice only. No attack. This is, uh... This is, this is your draw pile. here. Yeah. We could get rid of the stoat. That's fine. Having this here would be blocked. No. 
no, he would be destroyed if I took out Coy Coyote. How much health do you have? Two. Which means River Snapper is dead before it can attack twice. I gotta know what this does. Even even if we lose, I gotta know what it does. Alright, could draw a new one first. Let's see what we get. Regular wolf. That might help turn the tide a little. as well. Oh boy! Shit, does that actually kill me? going back, but Sorry. <laughs> that's it. I think that's all I can do now. Jeez. Wolf, two health. Draw a card. I mean, at this point. We've got tons of bones, but no. And then where to use them. Gotta be a squirrel. Squirrel stoat. Again. Okay, that we can we can keep that up for a little bit. Bad play. Little shit. This goes down to one after this turn. It may move, move back over again. We will see. Okay. This is good. We attack him. We take Wolf out. My Wolf's dead after this turn. But we think we can repeat the process. So, uh... Another squirrel, please, sir. I hope that deck is, um... Stacked. Nice. Oh, that worked well. Okay. So this gets destroyed. Um, this gets destroyed. It doesn't grow yet because it's only been in play for one turn.
I want to play this. I don't have to play squirrels. It's silly placing them down. It's pointless. We end turn. <gasps> Dagnabbit, my mule! Oh my god! <laughs> Warren. A rabbit warren. When a card bearing this sigil is paid, played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Interesting. We got the opossum. Beaver. My god, angry beaver. A dam builder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power, two health. Well, we'll save that for the last fight. Hopefully I get to keep my hand. I really hope that is the case. Take it slow. It's fine. In fact, he's not playing anything else. I think this might be it. Maybe. Now we have to wait. But, the beautiful thing is, so what does this guy do? When an opposing creature is placed opposite an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to the empty space. Got it. We could bring Queeb out right now. Actually, no, we can't. No, we can't. Because we don't have two empty spots. Clever. And that means my stout is going to take a hit from this guy, which is fine. It's more bones, I guess. That will move him over here. I kind of need to wait here. I need to wait for another area, another one of these to be taken out. And we can still give flight to Queeb as well. I think would be super good. So the problem with playing a stout, and it's fine. I want, if I place this down, well, if I placed even, I guess, the uh, the squirrel down here, this guy's going to move over. Well, he's not in play yet, is he? He's not in play yet. Yep, you're exactly right. Stop, draw a card. Okay, so then. 
More squirrels. I just want tons of squirrels. Because he's not in play, we might get a free hit here. Good job. Now... Now we bring out Queep. Mr. Insta-kill himself. Alright, alright. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That's okay. I need the adder to hurry up because I can't do anything else until then. Um, let's keep an extra one of those on, on standby. So we win, that's kind of cool, but winning isn't exactly what we're after, is it? Let's see if we can draw a... Sacrifice a caged wolf. No, we've, we've already won the game. card seems useless but I think there's more to it yeah well we've already we've already asserted that I could sacrifice it and see what happens I've got enough squirrels to play it to be taken out in battle, huh? Well, there you go. Oh, 
Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. I have no words for this freak of nature. A long elk. One attack, insta-kill, two health, moves to the right. Four bones. Poor abandoned child, it does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? Why does this number one look different here? The prudent pack rat never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Trinket bearer. When a car bearer in the sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. Holy shoot, that's freaking amazing. Oh, it's a zero, not a one. Thank you. It, it looked like it was a one flipped, like inverse. Okay. Right, so this is sacrifice fodder. This is like maybe some lucky kills. I gotta go with the pack rat. That's too dope. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you're carried onwards. Oh, we get to go further? Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward has it. was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. The omnipresent mole, it burrows and emerges to block any land-born attacker for health. The inviolable beehive, when it is attacked, you will draw a bee. River Otter. The elusive otter, it submerges itself during my turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. So handy if you need to get more sacrifices out. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Yekka, I'm, I'm glad you asked how I mistook uh, a zero for a one. Let's discuss, shall we? Let's take time away from the stream and the hundred something other people in here to have a conversation about how I made a visual error. Or not bother with stupid shit like that. I like, I like the mole, we just got to be careful of the attack of the other creature, that's a decent, that's a decent placement I think.
Now we have a new symbol on the board. Probably remove a card. You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Right. River Snapper is tempting to get rid of. Or Bullfrog. No, Wolf stays. Wolf stays. Interesting, you two are talking that way today. Everyone I talk to seem to be in a mood. Interesting day. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what the, uh, the common thread there is. It's very unusual. Yeah, I think I get rid of, uh... River Snapper. Eh. You callously slaughtered the River Snapper. Oh, come on. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Dude, dope. That means we could potentially summon... Like two cards on the first turn. You shook off the viscera of the poor <laughs> river snapper and carried on with oh Jesus. That's great. Okay, so there's passive upgrades as you go too. Okay, so we've got a large tree which blocks Airborne attacks, which this is, but it's also got Waterborne. Submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, we attack the creature directly. How to kill? I don't know. All right. Kingfisher, same. So two of them. So it's going to be a constant one damage for three turns and then two damage after that. Just a regular old stump here, huh? What do we got? Well, we can pull out straight away. We can pull out two cards. One of them being a skink. Moves to the right. It needs to be attacked though. Or, yeah, under threat. Maybe we should just wait for that? Again, going first isn't always the best. We do have Wolf as well. Play Squirrel. Play skink. Place opossum. Place wolf. First turn wolf, but leaves me with not much, not much outs after that. It works. 
Let's do it. Two health. This guy does one, but it flies, right? Yeah, okay. Flying creatures don't even touch the ones on the on the field. Yeah, it's it's literally a damage race. And if that's the case, my wolf. Let me double check this here. Submerged flying. My wolf is better off here, so it's a constant three damage. Jeez, I wonder what I should pull out. Squirrel me. Never mind. Game over. Uh, have we seen that symbol before? You encountered a small outpost in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were m mollified by her offerings. Excuse me, one second. Mollified. Appeased the anger or anxiety of someone to mollify someone. Okay. Do you mind if I examine those pelts? No, please get rid of them. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these, take your time. The Rat King is kind of cool. Like, not only is it two attack, one health, but when it dies, it drops bones. Kind of good. Or we can go with the wolf cub again. What is this? My raven egg. Two health, zero attack. Okay, so it's the same as the wolf cub, except we know what the wolf cub grows into. Oh, well, I guess raven? <laughs> I wouldn't mind wolf cub actually for a first turn play on an open tile that would be decent yeah these pelts are most excellent my thanks All right, what do we have here? Campfire again. All oh, right, campfire sketch. Something terrible could happen there. It might be a different event. It might not be. Hey, everyone looks hungry. Fanukle, no, I haven't. I didn't know that was an actual real life thing.
Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, and this is what sacrificing upgrading again. Yeah. What was the suggestion given to us before? When a card bearing this sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three. Man, that's so good. Make Queeb undying. It was something to do with the skink, was the suggestion before. Give Queeb a tail. It is, it is the tail, right? But it has to be placed where something will attack it. But I think it has to survive as well. Or, that's what I'm thinking, Hakomis, yeah, yep, giving this to a single, like, let's see if we can give this, no way. Okay, we can't give it to what's his name, unfortunately. But a single strength unit, like a wolf cub, for example, might be decent. We lose this card, though. The opossum is drawn with bones. I think that's a good idea. We get a random item, don't forget. We can't choose. There's got to be more to this. go back okay yeah you can you can go back all right so we've got a reducing attack defending against the airborne dropping a tail ant queen Defend against incoming attacks. Grow stronger. Yeah, I'm actually okay with that. Uh, not you, though. Put you on. No. Empower me. Mm. 
Greetings. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, <laughs> we might as well play it. What do we got coming? Kingfisher. Let's view real quick this again. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck. Keyword. Alright, Coyote's got to go. Again, direct attacks here. Can reduce that to zero. Actually, that's funny. If we bring out Stinkbug, uh, he reduces the attack of the Kingfisher to, to nothing. So that'll be completely blocked off. not a bad play. It does leave us open to attack over here for two damage, but we might be able to fix that as well. We could also play something behind the stump. All right, squirrel. Think. Oh no! Okay, it's fine. Ah, shit. This is actually a problem. I'm going to take four damage off the bat. I, no, I can, mm, I can do it. We create, it's a waste of cards, but I can do it. Put you here. No, screw it. Let's put you over here. Let's defend. Stink bug here. Pair of scissors. You may cut up one of your advisory's cards. It is destroyed. Adversary's cards. It is destroyed. What, something on the field? Really? Okay, we'll save that for later. I didn't take a hit there. He created a tail, but he moved the opposite way. Okay, so we now know the rules of movement. Yeah, I think it goes like left to right, but once it hits a, a barrier, it just flips and goes the other way. Okay, I do not want you destroying this stump, so... We're going to get another squirrel. We're going to bring Queeb out. Stinkbug stays. Uh, 
I like the the user interface now that I've kind of gotten used to it. The only thing I, I dislike is the whole camera angle situation. It's not very intuitive. Okay, you die. He grows. We do two damage from then on. River Otter. There's another one I can't destroy. Holy mackerel. Okay. That's a very risky way to play, no? But we will block it. Right. No, no, no. That I, I get. Right. So we, we'll we'll slowly get chipped down. This card will slowly get chipped down. But in the meantime, that like I've done sixteen damage to him. In the in the meantime, game over. I think it's game over already. Yeah. Um. There's the caged wolf again. We'll figure it out sooner or later, bud. Oh, I think I got a small overkill there. So there's the trapper again. We don't need that. Campfire. Mm. What was this one? That's another fight. That's a themed fight. Hey, Master, what's up, man? I'm I'm very much enjoying this. Yeah, I think it's great. It's a nice change from doing painted Lazarus runs. Rattler, Sparrow, River Snapper. Can I choose not to get a card? <laughs> no. No, I can't. Will we ever be so overloaded with bones? I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, that's how many teeth I got. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lost some of the impact. Can you give me a little bit more detail there? I guess Sparrow, easy to play, easy to sacrifice. I can always... Oh, here we go. No, it's the same thing again. There's room for a creature around the fire. The warmth will enhance its power. Stop licking their lips, exactly the same. Pick something else. <laughs> um, hmm. The opossum wouldn't be a bad one, or the sparrow. Got a bad feeling about this. Actually, sparrow will be fine. The mole. So I actually want to keep them all I, like I know it this does damage but he has is this is a defensive card like giving it power would be somewhat useful this but that's for for blocking attacks so <clears throat> originally based around sacrifice and it felt like you were giving pieces of yourself away to win huh it, that's still a theme in the game, though. Like, there's a pair of pliers. Like, that's a that's a thing. Hmm. 
Yeah, Masa, I'm, uh, I'm, I realize this is a very long, drawn-out game. The power of the sparrow was enhanced as one of the survivors begins pulling a knife from their pocket. You withdrew. I I think I lost it that time, right? It didn't say I grabbed it at the very least. Um regular fight, themed fight. We got we got the card? Maybe the campfire does that every time. N it's no, no no no. No. Scroll up to view the deck. That just became amazing. Okay. Stinky, the creature opposing a card bearing this sigil loses one power. Ah, that's a bit of a problem. As long as we can still do at least one damage, so we place a two damage tile down, it'll be fine. Opossum can come out. That's no good against these. Oh boy. Okay. First turn Queeb? No. Not first turn Queeb. Nothing to sacrifice. I gotta wait. I'm gonna take four damage again. The squirrel then get opossum? You can't. You can't. So this is free play. We place it down, but we can't sacrifice it, meaning we can't remove it. Meaning I can't play opossum. I only have one bone, not two. Yeah, starting with higher sacrifice tier cards is a problem. But what I could do... We can straight up just destroy a card. Okay, we have to wait a turn to do it. Alright, I'll wait. We could always yank a tooth as well. Just give ourselves a uh, buffer point. Let's do that. Have I looked around the cabin? Yeah, we, we unlocked a few things. We did a few puzzles in there. There's still more to do. Yeah, that hurts, man. Um... All right, I'm going to use my scissors as well. Boom, gone. 
Yeah. If I don't do anything this turn, we're dead. Do we go for the wolf or queeb? Three damage versus one the first round, two thereafter. It's a longer game, but... Yeah, wolf's a better idea. Oh, shit. Alright, opossum was a waste. Glad we chose the wolf. Holy crap. I forgot. These, these reduce damage by one. This is stuck, that's fine. We're fine. It's just gonna take a while. <laughs> is going to go out eventually. He gets two turns. Queeb starts at zero. This is a tough, tough run, man. Hey, Patback, how you doing? We get three attack. That's... That's rough, dude. That's really rough. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, we get four damage now. But then the following turn after that... Wolf dies. Can't sacrifice it. Queeb, Queeb is actually probably the better sacrifice here. No, that's zero attack. End turn. Brutal, dude. So we bring out the skink. One attack. Oh shit, I might actually die here. <laughs> The long and painful death. Most right spot doesn't reduce damage. Oh, good call. Okay. Oh. Can we see these cards? 
it's one of these one attack This is fine. This will be plus two next turn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I hate it. Um, yeah. Ant queen. Oh, I can't use you just yet. I can't use you at all. the stalemate right now <laughs> it is good to see you Just made it, I think. I think we're good. Pull the sparrow out just to be sure. Wow. <laughs> you you could you could stalemate. I wonder what happens there. Do we want another item? What have we got? I've got flight for a creature and a boulder. Visit, visit the trapper first. First one's free? Is it always free? Do we have nine? Hell yeah. We might get a rare card. Do I want to grab another item before the boss? Or upgrade a card? Do we have any abilities that would be useful? If you click on the teeth, it puts them in neat little columns. Oh, nice. Okay. Like stacking your chips in a casino. A flying wolf. Mm, I don't really want to get rid of... My sparrow. That's a, that's a good card. Unless we put it on the wolf cub. So the great thing about combining cards like this, which is clever, I hadn't seen it in another game, is that um, you reduce your deck as well, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. We could put it on a wolf cub. No, no, let's just keep it the way it is. I'll go this way and get another item.
Okay. The great thing with that is that I can play it before... Um... Get the smoke again. The foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. Hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. What was the game? It played out similar to this. There was a... There was... Hand, hand of fate? It was a hand of fate? There was... A, a GM, essentially, and you... You were just a guest. Yeah, okay. Kingfisher, so same deal. Flying can't hit. If we can reduce the attack... Or... Let's hold on to the smoke this time, since this guy won't be hitting the smoke. I guess if I, I can sacrifice the smoke though, right? We can get Sparrow, Possum. Let's activate the teeth, first of all. There you go. If we have Sparrow here, constant plus one damage, so that's fine. That seems like, uh, can play the whole hand. I don't want, I want to have more stuff on the field. We'll play Queeb next turn, maybe. Let me see if I can... Yeah. Dope. Okay. Good looking out. He's completely safe. So that's plus one damage for the entire first half of the game. We could bring Queeb out now. So here's the question. When the candle gets extinguished and we go into phase two, do I get all of my cards back again? Don't believe so. Aha. Uh -huh. So. Let's be clever. But that is a sensational start. No doubt. Wait a minute, what are you doing? Is he gonna... he's gonna steal one of my cards. I guess that's just what he does. Ant Queen.
Fresher fish, easy chews. What the fuck are you doing? Can you not? I don't know what he's doing. Your cards remain on the table. So Kikro, the uh they were turned to gold last turn, I guess this turn. This this match will be different though. Never mind. Go fish. What's he got there? Bait bucket. Okay. Just a, a, a simple blocker. No big deal. That's fine. Love the the music, it's dope, man. And you know what? Candles, please. Strange larva, a largely unimpressive specimen. You can tell me what the, the bait bucket buckets do, it's fine. You considered one of the anglers catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Or you don't have to tell me, it's fine, I can look it up later. I don't mind. I, I mean, I have plenty of free time, so I can... Google stuff, easy. Frigid gust of wind bellowed unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. It baits something onto the board. Ah, I got it. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't attack it then. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. But first you will choose a trial. Trial of Power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack combined to pass. Trial of Wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass.
trail of health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined. To pass. Well, it's not number three. Oh, we can look at the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We could get extremely unlucky there. And I guess these do these count? Oh, that'd be awful if they if they did. Strength. What was it? Four attack. You think health is my best bet? Six total, right? From three cards. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Unless we get really unlucky, we're... They, yeah. No, you're absolutely right. <laughs> One. Six from the Queeb. Three from the Ant Queen. Two from the Wolf. I have passed the trial. Okay beast revealed itself it was oh shit what the fuck is that so here's where you take one of two extremely overpowered cards or fucking mystery box Let's take a look at the cards first, huh? What is this here? Mirror... Something. The power and... Unknown. Very pretty cards, though. Cockroach with a tail? Oh my god. Very tempting. Um, but I think that the power is equal to the adversary or something. Oh, maybe. But this is also instant kill. That's it. This this is an amazing card. Uh, they both are. They're both amazing. Although this is bones to draw, so less amazing. The inhabited joined your menagerie. What the fuck? This is dope as shit. <laughs> All right, we've got to work out where to go. There's another event that's the same, which I would like to do that again. That was pretty fun. We're down to one item, so we could go this way. Regular fight. Two items in a row down here. Hmm. Got a campfire. No. No, we'll go this way. Is a complete loss? Yeah, no, I figured as much. Yep. Frozen opossum. Five defense with... Oh, I think I'll get this again. Frozen Opossum is fine. Zero power, five health. Frozen away. What the hell does frozen away mean?
There. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. Oh, okay. Eh. Yeah, we'll take this. Um, and that. So we, we will have a wasted... Well, we can use them during this fight, I guess. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Elk fawn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We could play mole here. Kind of the perfect opportunity, actually. Do moles not have eyes? Why would you play this? Yeah, why would you play that? As a blocker. Oh, okay. Worst case scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meddlesome Mole. Freaking champion mole, more like. Thank you very much. Um, you got another one coming. That's going to be blocked for like three turns, so that's fine. Stoat would be a good draw here. Hmm. Let's take this one out. I don't want to leave him alive. That's the problem. Can I place a boulder here or does it have to be on my on my side? No, they wouldn't let you do that. Let's get the stoat out. <laughs> Keep me alive. I'll, I'll do my best, dog. Is he immediately... No, nah, should be fine there. Oof. All right.
It's attack then move, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Pull for a... This does not help. Can't sacrifice the boulder, I don't think. Maybe that's what this border means. Right, that's a that's a cross through a dagger. I just realized you can't sacrifice him. Oh shit. Put the bullfrog out. Defense against flying. Hmm. I am playing from the bottom of my hand here. I mean, we have to do damage to them, but at the same time, I would rather stop two damage than do one back. This shit is tough, man. Hello, Ordinary. How you doing, man? Skink. That's brutal. That is that's full on. What a what a fight. disappointing oh you're gonna give me a second shot okay trial of bones the three drawn cards must cost at least five bones no at least three sigils at least four attack power combined Sigils. One, two, yes. 
sparrow, wolf cub, turkey vulture. Eight bones for a turkey vulture. A wolf cub that returns to your hand. That is kind of cool. A sparrow that drops bones after it dies. Nah, I gotta go wolf cub there. Bone generation synergy with the stout. Well, the problem is I've got I got too many cards right now. The stout is uh, it's. I've got two cards that use bones, four total. A good double flight. <clears throat> if you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards. Yes, I think I deem it necessary. Like, getting rid of cards, super important. Um, I can't remember what this is, but I think we'll go this way, because one, there's a trapper there, and we have the golden fleece, which I want to get rid of. Thank you, Delta. Yeah, I'm, I'm no doubt, the level of polish on the game, I'm very impressed so far. There he is. Same shit again. Fuck. What is this? It's a tree. This fight has to end fast. Uh, so the great thing is we can probably maintain for a little bit because of this card right here. I hope when he comes back, he doesn't come back as a full wolf, though. I bet you he will. That makes him a lot less desirable. We'll see, but I have a feeling. Okay, worker ant. That's two gone. gonna grow that it's gonna kill my wolf let's keep the wolf alive uh what's coming next another fawn okay okay hey play the pelt for a block i mean yes oh and i've got and i can cut up one of the cards too Shit, that's not a bad idea. Squirrel. Worker ant. So here's the thing, I could cut up this card right here. That'll do three attack. Mm -hmm. 
It's one turn reprieve. Alternatively, I can clear the first wave and buy us some time. Which I think is probably a better idea. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Oh, yeah, you kind of did. Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. <laughs> Lucky for you. Good couple of turns here. This is awesome. I like the mole a lot. I think it's a great card. Wow. I don't like those elks, man. They're really powerful. Especially in numbers. Yeah, finally. Let's get rid of that, that garbage. My pelts are clean. Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want more. <laughs> Can somebody tell me the difference between the, this is getting another card, right? We don't want that. What is this here? That's obviously destroying a card at the end. What was the first game to set up that sort of grid system? Both are a card. Oh, okay. A two cost sacrifice. The only one I've got is Queeb. Theoretically, we could transfer the two over to something else like a Sparrow. Wait, we've got Strange Lava too, which grows. We could put that on a Sparrow. Dope. Skink on the lava might be worth it. Because he survives. He, yeah. I want to ditch the bullfrog eventually. I think that's the card we'll destroy. Get rid of a regular wolf cub. I seriously don't mind putting this on the sparrow at all. Let's let's see what options we can get. Yep, sparrow's there. Opossum could probably go to.
bullfrog onto the caged wolf. Can somebody tell me how the caged wolf works? I don't mind if it's spoiled at all, it's fine. <clears throat> I know we can't sacrifice it, so it has to be destroyed. And what, do we just get a wolf then in that case? Break the cage to get a wolf. Okay. Hmm. And something happens. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's a little bit more important. Wolfrog on a wolf. That's defense against flying, though. Like, that needs to go on a high HP card, and a wolf is only 2 HP. Bullfrog on Mole. That's not a horrible idea. Queevon Golden Freeze. Yeah, and it gets rid of my bullfrog as well. I love how the artwork like changes. I put a lot of thought into that. So this one's random. That's right. You choose whether you want like high, right? Okay. The other you get to choose one from one of three. Mole with poison. I haven't seen anything poisoned yet. This is quite good. Oh, fuck. Fuck off. Oh. Hello, Aaron. How you doing? I hope you are well. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. Oh, I don't think I can survive this. And the, the problem is getting cards in my hand. That carrying these pelts was a massive problem. They'll end up blocking themselves in a lot. Skink will give me extra sacrifice for next turn. They won't be alive next turn.
They have two HP each. Okay. For now. Until the following turn. Yeah, take a damage. We got to go. We got to go big here. Or couple of smalls that works three cards They only get that active once. I should sacrifice this to do in something. Aaron, there's there's a lot to it to explain. It is a it's not a it's a a light deck builder. Heavy emphasis on atmosphere and story. All right. You got me more bones. Not what I needed, but not what I needed. If we get flying now, block with the pelt. Good call. Uh, we get flying now, we do. We can't, can't survive. Next turn, Wolf goes. Like, we need to take these out, but I can't damage them. That's the problem. It's got to be flying. Get him, stink bug. Ah, oh, man.
No flying this turn. Do we die? Not yet. And survive two turns. Do the math here. This dies, nothing happens. This attacks, depending on where I put Stoat, then moves over. This attacks, then moves over. Keep me alive. Well, don't exactly have a lot of control on that one. You survive. Okay, next. You're down to three health. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hello, Camilla. We need to do six damage. Can I do six damage? No, I cannot. Leave this alone. Leave Stinkbug where he is. Get rid of Stoat. Stoat comes back to my hand. I put down Wolf Cub. We take two damage. And I put down Wolf Cub here. Wolf Cub does destroy Elk Fawn. Cub dies. Yeah, if I if I place him here, he does. If I place him here, he doesn't. Cub lives in third. How do you figure that? Tail will proc. Then we still take two damage. Alright, we ain't dead yet. Like, is it even worth attacking these? Or should I be... I should be attacking directly, no? No. No, this has to be attacked.
I got flying again. Gotta use flying. Flying for this turn and then overkill to this one back here on the next. That's four damage, five damage. It doesn't get us the whole way, but it gets us close. Sparrow end it. Nope. If I had one squirrel right now, we could probably do it. What do we got? Two damage, two damage. Wolf's gonna clean up that center aisle. Gonna survive for two turns. Actually, Wolf's good. Wolf's good for a couple of turns more. Zack Wolf? No, 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 mm -mm. no, that's a mistake. Wolf can clear this entire row right now. Leaves too many mirrors. Oh, I get it. I understand. a bad play. Just give me my my bones, dude. I want my bones, dude. Bring the wolf back in the second row. You've seen the rest of the board, right? Like you know there's you know there's more stuff coming. This here will clear both of these immediately. Um actually, this guy has bifurcated attack as well. To make matters worse. And by clearing this, this one moves over. We will have to deal with another. Might it, it'll buy me time. Interesting, that's even better. Mm. 
I didn't expect. Of course, this one's going to move first. Now, we could put Stowed out. That gives us three attack. And this being dead. Or roll the dice. No, we're better off with him on the field. Three health. Ah, uh, now you're coming down, huh? That's going to kill him and him. Actually, can flying units be hit? They can, right? I think they can. Two damage. He's dead. He moves over. Two damage. Back. This is unreal. We're delaying one turn. But even if I put Stoat here... No, Stoat's safe. This guy has three health. Stoat, you're not going to be able to stop him in time. Only one attack, though. Okay, that buys us an extra turn. Alright. You sure? Like I have a choice now. Oh. The movement cards, you I have to think about them so hard. He's dead. Uh Okay, well that's Defender. Free. I think we win. Yeah, it's a fully grown one too. I was hoping the uh, the little baby one came back. That's okay. I think we win. Yeah, we, we got it. Jesus. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's unreal. A bat for bones. Moose buck. Holy shit. Three attacks, seven health. And there's the elk. this hefty at the end of the owner's turn a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction move in the direction inscribed in the sigil creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction
You're sad the elk isn't the evolving spawn? It is. I think I'll take the bat here. I... I got no items now. Oh my god. Sacrifice a card. Yeah, we need to split and get more more bone stuff. Sacrifice a pelt. I'm tempted to sacrifice this. Maybe that will be something special. What was the name of the the eighties horror movie? Um where the static was on the TV. The ring, 80s. Rewind a little bit, Poltergeist, thank you. Um, does anyone know what this card is for? It's random every time you play it. Oh. That's it? Yeah. Pel pelts are garbage. I should be avoiding them at all costs. Except if we've got enough to carry one but you get given one every time that's the problem and they're more cards we want to like minimize our deck more than anything else displeased you would receive nothing in return you know shit a man stood before you a man you recognized immediately it was the trapper you reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Salutations. Strange frog. Aerial defender. One attack. Leaping trap. Steel trap. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. Shit. A pelt is created in your hand. Shit. <laughs> oh, I've still got my bones. Activate my bones. Alright. Stink bug. Straight up. Who's returning to my hand, anyone? It might be a, the right time to play this. Alright, Stinkbug's got him. Wolf Cub. You got this guy. Let's do it. Thank God he's here. 
And we get an item as well, which is more bones. This can stay there for all I care. Let's stay there forever. Oh. Okay, that was an error. I think. Yeah, that was an error. Wolf cub dice. Damn it. Stink bug going down. There's a trap there. Oh. Oh, snap. That's what these guys do when they die. They leave leaping traps on the ground. Is that, is that what's happening? Well, hold on a second now. jam up the system. Think about it. This is the full game, yes. Yep. Man, he survives. done. Strange Koopa. Koopa. That's uh, not what I expected. Still zero attack. All right, we got ourselves a standoff. This buys me a couple of turns. Cool. Good. Now we talking. That puts us, what, three ahead? <laughs> Mothman. Fuck yeah. <laughs> nice. Mole.
with the flyer blocker. He dies next turn anyway. But this is seven hits direct. Oh, okay. Oh. He kills the frog. He kills the frog. Yes? Frog and elk gone. This is good. The fact that he's jumping is, is a good thing. And the fact that he's flying, well, no, unfortunately he's, he's gone next turn, so I can sacrifice him after this. This is so stressful. Mole. Yeah, I've got to sacrifice him. Which is a damn shame, because that seven damage would have been really nice. At least we get to find out what Caged Wolf is all about, too. just let him die. No, we'll sacrifice him. Hello, Pound. What's going on, man? Good morning to you. A decent sacrifice to set up on the right-hand side. So, Mole is going to be our our point man for four turns. Whoever you put behind a trap is going to die. Right. Right. This is... I'm, I'm, I'm about three steps ahead of you. We now have six turns of safety. to see who he queues up the bank. We, we're not even halfway through the fight yet. Jesus. was that? All oh, right, I forgot we get the wolf from that as well. That clears the way for an adder. Oh, it's gonna kill my mall. Well, wolf has to stay there. about four turns of protection right now. Leader. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. Five bones. Insta summon.
power is kind of irrelevant at the moment. This is good. Wolf. Wolf kills strange frog. Queep sacrifice wolf. Queep waits it out until he's got a full hand and just can just destroy this dude. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. This is the best thing to happen to us. That much I'll say. Oh, we got the overkill on it as well? Oh. The freaking light bulb. Hello, Stoat. I don't need you right now. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing this sigil gain one power. Can't use it. Worker ant can go down. Or stoat. Either way. Stoat's probably better. Might even give up again. Wolf cub. Yeah, let's get let's get chunky. Um Recommend killing off the traps if you don't mind losing the unit. Can I ask why, Hakomi? Is there something coming in phase two that I should know about? Did the trapper run out of moves? Either, yeah, he's not placing any more cards. So we've, we've got this phase. Yes, you say. Oh, interesting. Pelts are good to have. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, Stoat. <laughs> uh, I actually want to... Do I still get overkill here? Or is this immediately... 
immediately done. Want to get spoiled? Yeah, go ahead. It's fine. Hey, Shane. How you doing, man? You do get overkill. Okay, cool. I think the cards destroyed, right? It did say destroyed the cards. Up health is created. Perishes. Nope, it's fine. Stone, you're good. Uh, Mole's a problem. Probably have to ditch him, which sucks. I'd love to leave him there. Keep me alive. Yeah. On it. After you kill in phase two, you turn all you all of your pelts to new cards, and your current cards in the field get turned to pelts. Current cards don't become pelts. I don't want more cards. turn left. Well, here we go. Too fast, too soon. is unwinnable I'm assuming right I'm that early yeah this is this is my first run right yeah this is my first run This is unwinnable for sure. You lost to a boss your first run because you killed him too fast. Is this something that... Wh what do you mean killed him too fast? This fight's been going for what? 15, 30 minutes? I don't know. Is this an ongoing thing or is it just for the first time? Just scripted. Okay, that's fine. I'll still give it a shot. Still dead. <laughs>
I ain't dead yet. Get him, Stoat. <laughs> You're doing fine. <laughs> Has it been 10 hours of this game? Oh no, I couldn't possibly do 10 hours of one. Yeah, I, I probably could. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. It, this has just been my schedule lately. Oh boy, um, <laughs> this is the end, my friend. I'll take one of them out. Not before the rest get to me. Queeb! Chunk, 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 chunk. <laughs> you will make an exquisite pelt. Oh no, I'm dead. Stay there, no need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm, where did I put that camera of mine? Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Ah, that's right, my death card. Oh, okay, so the death card is the ongoing mechanic. I see, I see, that's the special card you make. Shall we begin to ink it? Yes. Choose a card to draw the cost from. One card. One, one blurred. It's power and health. Yo. Oh, this is just the... Damn it. Okay. I was like... Really? Can we... The numbers. I mean, it literally says it right there. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Bomber. Does this destroy my stuff? Hmm. Mothman is dope. I never, never did ask your name. Not Queeb. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Not much for trading that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? A gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. 
It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. I would have smashed him. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Single use, huh? It seems like the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. Yeah, we've done a few puzzles in the room. Oh, okay. That's fine. Let's have a look at what's new, if anything. Well, the clock's moved. Interesting. Black goat and squirrel. It's Dote's head change. Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's check. Was his head not square before? Oh, I don't know. So there's my little my little guy again. That's how you start a new game. done those this is still locked I did read somewhere before you need to put up something I'm sure it'll be hexagonally shaped that's new okay its eyes light up Two candles, I think that's the same. I know what that is. I know what that is. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. Okay. Free knife. Free teeth. This game's so weird. I love it. Put the flame out. We can't light them, right? Let me do a double check here. Maclepto. That's me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't nailed down. We can't see there. That's about it, I think. Oh, the knife is an item. Can I see those? That one's only for card dueling. What time is it? 7 a.m. Of course it is. Shall we do another run chat? Jesus Christ. Missing one more thing, but it's not story related. Can we access it right now? Can currently do. Clock is story related, right? Okay. So this is another, this is another game, right? Black 
black goat and squirrel neither attack there's something here I love how lo-fi everything is. I mentioned that before, but like, um, it just reminds me of old school PC gaming. Buy the candle I put out. to do with the smoke. Mm, nothing interactable here. It's all good, baby. Do I need to take my parasol guy or can I just... Like when I go here, it puts him down, right? Oh, it's a different one. Does that make a difference? Just trying to think, should I go for another run? Give me a sec. How long have we been going for? Quite a while, huh? No. No, let's pass for this evening. I think that'll that'll just about do it. Yeah, 10 hours of streamings. That's the sweet spot right there. This is cool. I like this a lot. Some of those fights, man. Some of those card games, they make you think. Big time. I I think we're going to enjoy this one. I think this is going to be... Stinkbug's face has changed too, by the way. Um... Yeah, I think we'll add this in with with this Darkest Dungeon 2 and Isaac the finale. Well, hopefully, hopefully we fucking do it properly. Awesome music, awesome presentation. This is this is something else. That's really good. Um Okie dokie, okay, hang on one, one sec. Let's see if anybody I know is streaming. I'm a, I'm a send you over to somebody else playing this game right now. Awesome dude, actually. His name's Pagrax. Good friend of mine actually raided us last night. Um, yeah, this is cool. Thank you, folks. I had, uh, I had a lovely evening, and I will see you, no doubt, real soon. Take care.
Hagrix. 